Emmanuel Do. I went to get double, but come up here and fit. You know, it is not, you know, it is not uh, very clear to the native doctor that the uh, the patient is about to be healed. Doctor Nobasaki is very dangerous now because he knows that nothing lasts forever. In the next six, seven months, it's going to be an ex governor an ordinary citizen just like me and you in the streets. So he's desperately doing everything, you know, uh, to uh, uh, bring his godson, Aswe Godaro, to power. If you had done well for your citizen, Godwin, would there be any need for you to be going after Big Bird, to be going after your opponent in a civilized world and those who gave you democracy or madness in Africa? You talk your own, I talk my own. You have your B board, I have my B board. You know what I mean? You are judged about, 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 about what you did for your citizen. You are judged about what you are about to do for your citizen. You don't go after your opponent, desperately trying to hurt them. You know, by every mistake necessary. You know, you guys did that the last time. You, you, you. And uh, what's this, this little kid name with your chief of staff? Osai oh, boy, you are. You all brought some fucking dogs to fight me at Rokota. Let's stay. Ha. If you are going to kill me, don't leave your head at home, okay? If you are not a coward, Godwin, why don't you send the people? Why don't you come on yourself and do it? And if anything happened to me, Godwin, not going to say, Basa again. Before or after your tenure, I am going to hold you responsible because the world know you are after my life because of politics. Enough, enough, enough. It's enough. I've used that big board to educate the citizens of a just state, not just for political reasons. People who know about that big board, we attest to it. So I'm telling you, I know my right. I'm a Canadian citizen. I'm not some idiots who just go with the crowd. My name is Ultimate Equal. You better ask somebody. Thank you. All right, all right. Okay, thank you very much, my people. There's a lot going on right now in my state, at uh, those states. But meanwhile, the same man, Chief Ultimate Equal, have this to say. This is relating to Nigeria as a whole. Let's listen to this concerning Akbabio. Uh, this is a very sad day again, indeed. Uh, there was just uh, a news that I've just been broken recently that Akbabio, uh, you know, uh, Paddle this budget for himself and his committee for the tune of 90 billion. Uh, this is a letter, second letter I'm sending today to uh, Senator Neda Imaswan. I'm not doing this to win him, I'm doing this to put no check. It's my brother. Where were you guys when Akpabo, Akpabio, Senator Akpabio, you know, uh, padded the uh, budget for himself to favor his people? I mean, we are all Nigerians. 90 billion is a lot of money. And we see our servicemen dying, you know, because they are trying to assist the communal uh, clashes. We see our policemen being slaughtered in the bush. We see uh, policemen without barrack. We see doctors, uh, you know, moving out of the country in an exodus, uh, exodus uh, movement. We see teachers not being paid. And somebody's paddling 90 billion? Come on now. And then people still have respect for uh, Senator uh, Eric Adams of Shumole, who told Akbabio. To leave PDP and come to APC, that is we forgive him. I wonder what uh, uh, Senator Ahmed Tunubu, our president, will do about this. I heard you are clearly your cabinet, but this is a message to my brother Kazim and Fabua. You said the other day that if anybody dare try to move uh, Akwabia away for a Senate, you're going to mobilize. Now, how do you feel now? In your state, Edo State, how much do you forget? You're not fighting for Edo State. You are fighting for corrupt, disgruntled Akwabio, who has a lot of cases. Uh, 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 before him, with the FCC, before he becomes uh, a senior president. Come on now. Uh, we, we need to be fair to ourselves in this country. Neda Imaswe, this is your letter. I've sent one before. I've sent this again for the second one. Please respond to it. Let me know if you were part of this budget, partly, what you were able to attract to my community. I voted for you. I sacrificed for you. And for those of you who think this is witch hunt, please rethink again. How am I to gain in this? I have everything to win. If you want to be part of them, all right? The, the recently now, I got a ticket from one uh, 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 engineer Yahweh that I voted for. Then I, I contributed money to elect in the house of, uh, out of uh, uh, representative. He sold me for one billion. Then I'm going to social media 
uh, 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 to, to talk about him. Listen, how do I not talk to you guys? I voted for you. You have police surrounding you. You don't take your course. You don't uh, reply to anything. You don't have constituency office. You don't respond to letter. The only way I can talk to you is through social media. And I'm going to be doing it. If I have to go to jail, I'll go to jail. And I wonder what Peter Obi and Dante are doing about this. Peter Obi is so respected that we all follow you, even if we're going to cost up our life. When they took the car, it was 60 million each. I wrote to you. I speak about it. Nothing was done. Today now, Aquabio has the infantry, have the nerves. Aquabio have the nerves. You know, 90 billion to his constituency. Then he's going to share with Oshomole and the rest of uh, uh, Alibaba and the 40 thieves in House of Air, uh, uh, disgruntled House of Air, uh, are seen with disgrace, supposedly, who call themselves uh, 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 distinguished. What is distinguished? about people who are thieves, about people who cannot, who doesn't care about their military, who doesn't care about their police, who doesn't care about their citizen, who, who doesn't care about nothing other than them. What shall it profit the son of a man to inherit the world and lose his soul? Thank you. It's sad. That is the situation we find ourselves in our country. Mm, few people have captured Nigeria, just few people. No, it's very sad. It's very, very sad. But meanwhile, um, I guess that is all that I have for you guys today. I'm going to post out a link now for those of you that want to join us. I still have about two, three uh, articles that I'm going to present uh, right now so that we can start talking. Because that's the link right there. The link I've been posted. Click on it and join us here and let's talk together. I can see Mr. Chris, you're just coming in. Thank you very much, sir, for joining us. God bless you all. And also, Francis and many others right there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And God will bless you all my people. Thank you. All right. Um, I'd like us to do this together. Let me quickly bring this in. But let me quickly first recapitulate to that amend. You know, I'd like to recapitulate to that amend. Uh, I just hope I find this video because I really wanted to, I really want to play this video here. Uh, bear with me, guys. Let's see if I have it. Okay, I got it. Listen to that amend here. Real peace is not the absence of violence. It is the presence of justice. We cannot continue to make the job of those destroying Nigeria easy. Each time we come out to tell Nigerians, calm down, uh, let it pass, the more we tell Nigerians to be peaceful, the more the bad elements perfect their instruments and systems of corruption, of constitutional and legal abuses. For how long are we going to continue to do that? In the most advanced democracies, you have human beings chaining themselves to highways because toxic materials are being transported through their territories. This is legal. This is constitutional. This is not violence. For how long are we going to tell Nigerians continue to sit down and be cheated? You have been cheated. Allow yourselves to be cheated because you are Nigerians. It doesn't make sense. And you, the bad elements, continue to do because Nigerians are going to be patient. Governments have fallen in Africa because of the price of bread went up. The entire Arab world, 11, 12 years ago, went up in crisis because a young man burnt himself in broad daylight. Anybody waiting to hear call to arms from ourselves will never hear it. We're peaceful people. We're All right. I just wanted to quickly recapitulate on that speech from uh, uh, that I meant, you know, a couple of um, months ago. Thank you very much, my people. Help us to press on the like button and let's take it from here. But meanwhile, let me take these articles. Let me take this article. I might play other videos later on, but let's take these articles first. You know, okay, I already have one person in the panel. Ogatun is with us. But let me quickly take this article, my people. Bear with us and let's do this together. I'd like to start with uh, the first article that I have for you guys here, uh, which is... Um... Okay, let's talk about the kidnapping that happened in Lagos. Uh, Lagos, first Baptist primary school puppy kidnapped in Kosofe. I don't know where that is, but they said in Lagos. It's very unfortunate. 
uh, the Inkeja Chief Magistrate Court on Tuesday ordered the remand of one Abdul Karim Issa, 45, for allegedly abducting a 13-year-old girl. So I'll just leave that right there. That one happened in Lagos. They are gradually creeping in to different states as we speak. You know, uh, everybody should be security a lot. It's very, very important because we don't know what is happening right now. Then, Femi Falana is saying, budget padding. Femi Falana says the Nigerian Senate disobeyed court rulings by suspending Mingi, insists matter won't be swept under the carpet. Okay, um, I'm going to leave that one right there in case you want to read more. All the sources are right there for you. But I have another one here that I need to quickly showcase as well. Just bear with us. We'll reach Peter Obi, I'll go read that anyway. Nigeria need new constitution, not amendment to existing one. The Patriots. This is one of the things we talk about on this platform all the time, most especially my brother, uh, um, um, Black Panther. Even yesterday, I, can, I we, we talk about it. Would Nigeria need new constitution, not amendment one to the existing, uh, uh, the one we'd already get? There's no need for that. You know, so I'm just going to leave that one right there. I don't know. I don't have time to read more. Although, two Nigerians don't like that kind of news. I remember when I go carry Oga CM come, Oga CM defended, defended Soludo the other day. Oga CM, you are hearing us. You're, you know, we are summoning you to this panel today because you def you stopped everybody from talking about Soludo the other day and uh, you did not bring proof to protect. In fact, I will say your principal is your principal, sir, with all due respect. Yeah, because the way you stopped everybody, everybody, you know, were quiet that particular day. Nobody were able to give submission on that area. Oga CM, in fact, make you come defend Soludo today because I have a lot of things that we are going to show today concerning Soludo area. Road, where you say Soludo is always perfect doing roads. Because you were too quick to defend criminals. To be honest, you don't do that. But nevertheless, I would like us to quickly take these articles first. Bear with me, guys. Let's do this together. Let me carry Soludo come here. Yeah, video after one week downpour reportedly washes away Governor Soludo's constructed road, you know, in Anabra. But before that, before that, let me put this on screen. Before... Uh, I will read this article. I might not read all anyway. You know, this one I see roadway Soludo do. Now, rain up the pipe, the people are saying sweep. Where to use brute sweep? Rain, remove all the time mark, as you can see right there. See, him. you know, it's very, very sad, as you can see there. You know, roadway do. We show one the other year. The Gogasian defended this man. Gogasian, I go drag your name. Well, well, you know, you know, so for this platform. You, you know, as he be, that's what they talk him. Siam, I would like you to come and defend this, Oga Siam, because now your principal, now you do this one, so Oga Soludo, your principal. Siam, they say now, now just one rain, one day rain, now you just sweep everything. Oga Siam say now three lay out, now Soludo, they do that all his job are 100% perfect and solid. Make what I say, I'm gonna call Oga Siam, come, because he's a spokesperson for Soludo. You know, so I thought I should bring that in. But let me take this article quickly before we play the video for you. Bear with us. A recent, uh, a recent afternoon downpour, according to report, has washed away the newly constructed road in Oshanja Market, which was completed just one week ago under the administration of Governor Shukuma Soludo. Unayaram, I'm not going to take more on that. You know, this is currently trending on Twitter. And we only discussed this thing just last week here. Oga CM say, lie, lie, make no you go there. We should go there, say, Oga Soludo is doing the right thing. He know what they do. In fact, he too know the work. Make no say. I 
a be me kuna ko ga cm komo mo na tell and say principal see an a e dot cheat for market or ga cm your principal or ga soludo look what he's doing no eh uh, because you stop us you managed to stop us the other day may no may everybody pim and everybody on the panel every single person on the panel gave their submission throughout that day nobody was able to talk on this i don't know how you managed to do one uh -huh. But now we want you to come as a spokesperson to Ogaso Ludo. Come tell us I will not take do this road. Because we show on that day, you say no. Say Ogaso Ludo, even for UK. Now I tell you, say no, you know they have to like that for UK. Ogas CM, make you come defend us today. It's very, very important. But meanwhile, let's move on. I will call you rich two million times for this broadcast today. Two million times. Me personally. Make we move on. I would like us to quickly take another article that I have for you guys here. Uh, bear with me, guys. Then, Mr. Peter will be congratulated the Senegal uh, president elect, you know, as you all can see right there. So, let me quickly see what they have to say here. In a tweet from his verified Twitter handle, Peter will be the 2023 presidential candidate of the Labour Party, extended his congratulations to Basiru. Uh, Faye for his victory in the Senegalese presidential election. Faye emerged as the leading candidate in early resort, prompting celebration among his supporters in Dakar, Senegal, capital. Obi praised the Senegalese people for their active participation in the poll, highlighting the significance of democracy and the power of the people in shading the future of their nation. He emphasized the, the refreshing aspect of Fai's relative youth, suggesting a po uh, potential trend towards youthful leadership in Africa. Fai's victory comes amidst challenges uh, and political turbulence in Senegal. The opposition leader contested as an independent and after the dissolution of the party patriot of Senegal. Then let's just quickly go to where Peter will be talk if we have it here. Okay, it, uh, I don't think we have the quote. Okay, I believe they were just interpreting it like that. So we'll leave it like that, you know. Um, I still have one more to go. Just one more left. Just one. Bear with me, my people. Make I go call Gassiem. Come and call defend the, the principal. Or Gassiem. Okay, let's move on. I would like us to quickly take this one, you know. Yes, EFCC and Reigns are Siwaju something. That's the name, or maybe the name of the person, I guess. I see you, you can see the bracket right there. I see why you something for 2.7 billion money laundry. Ah, ah. Why this person is come see be thief now? I don't understand. I see why you something, you know. Okay, the Economic and Financial Crime Commission has arraigned two suspects, Akim Adekule and Kayode Olushola at Ayodeji before the Ikeja division of the Lagos High Courts. So I'll just leave that one right there. But why do they call somebody I see why you something? You know, that name, the ring bezel. But never, nevertheless, I would like us to move on. I appreciate every one of you, my wonderful people. I would like my quick play this video again for Ogasiem. Ogasiem, please come and defend your principal. So Ludo, we are waiting. You, In fact, if you don't come to the Ogasiem, I must make sure say I bring this video come. If now 100 years time we we'll see you, you must come and defend your principal. Uh -huh. And some of the way they defend Oba Seki. That's why I drag you now. We will go record the biscuit road where Oba Seki do that time. I drag all of you now. come the run they go. Shame not let you come and make you come defend them. Till tomorrow, when I wait, the defender Basaki don't have any reason. You don't even have what you are defending. All you say, oh, Basaki built secretaria. Basaki built secretaria. That's all you guys are saying. You don't have anything to say because me personally, that is speaking right now, I have more than 20 videos of dilapidated roads that Obaseki have done before that is dilapidating at the moment. And I have more than 10, 15 videos that, uh, 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 that uh, uh, of primary, secondary school that is also dilapidating in the state. So some we, we work with fat on this platform anyway. But nevertheless, I would like us to move on. Uh, thank you very much, my people. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to every one of you. That is all I have for you guys today. Uh, we are done with our 
presentation, I would like us to start talking. So let's see if anybody want to call in first before I will go to the panel. If I wait for 10 seconds, nobody call in, then we'll just move on uh, straight to the uh, panel for our wonderful panelists to speak to us. I'm waiting for your call. Whoever that is listening to me, call in. We have five seconds to go. Thank you very much, my people. Thank you, Judge Justin. Thank you, CEO, for joining us. God bless every one of you right there, Abwa, and many of you right there. Okay, we already have the first caller right here. Mr. Shimeze, thanks for calling in, sir. Good evening to you. Please, talk to us, sir. Yes, Naija Watch. Good afternoon. Uh -huh. yeah. Mr. Shimeze, um, I beg, I beg. Uh, 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 yes. So, Saludo so Nasti, your principal, B. Uh, yeah, now my state, now for my, now for my state, now my governor. Uh, but now you, now you are a spokesperson to him as well, Abi. Yeah. You are a spokesperson. It's, no, 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 no. Eh. Uh, no, 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 okay, no, now let, no, no. now let's see him. Now, now let, now let's see him be spokesperson. Yeah, that's that's how I follow people. Um, Saludo have did what he did. I know Saludo has a, I think he read a columnist, I think, yeah. So uh, for this, all this, thing, whether he know anything about that, but the people you contacted the, uh, the job, they are the one who have to know what they are doing. You know, if they say, oh, cement is the best, you can't, you can't allow them. It can't allow them. Even if it's cement, that's what they do it in here in America. You know, they, 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 they do it as thick, very thick, more than the way they do tight road. It's thick, like, like, like 10 inches. So, but that what he did there is very, very, very bad. In fact, hey, man. No, no, maybe, maybe, maybe. It's very shameful. Uh, Ogashi may say maybe not be uh, um, a Soludo Duan. Maybe not when they sleep, people can't go do one. Maybe the bandit with the Anabra State. Maybe not the Duan. My brother, it's not like that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till you make I talk. Because I don't defend that now, Abby. No, I don't. No, no, I don't defend. You see why? I didn't see the reason why I didn't talk that day. I didn't say anything about that that in that video. I was I, I, I was I will listen what happened that day, but I don't want to go there. Because like now, hey, I will come in, I say, this is not right way. What are you doing? Which 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 um, contactor that you you, you give you, you give the work to do? No, you can't you can this is come on, it's very shameful. You know, this thing can, this thing now you see will dent his uh, uh, government and his his name. It's not right. Uh, uh, Salute so of all people, the much bank. You know what he did when he was central bank governor? Then what is happening now? Show your people that thing you did in, in, in uh, uh, federal level. Show them the state level so they will say, yes, Salute so is working. But this, this thing shows that you don't have the 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 the, the, the knowledge what you're doing. Man, it's it's, it's, it's crazy, man. Then uh Niger Watch, you have come to this um, you know, I said something about um this dollar issue. He said, No, no, I asked you one question. Can I remember the question I asked you that day? I said I asked you about a dollar issue. I can't, I can't remember. You know, this brain, this brain sometimes is hot. So, um, okay, this abracata, abracata, abracata they are doing about dollar issue. Okay. So, are there any, something that goes up? Is it coming down? How much is meant? I think, can you, I, I, when you was presenting, Doing all this presentation, I could make a call. But so I, yeah, somebody told me yesterday, my friend, he bought cement at 8,000 8, naira. So, what are we, where are we saying? Why people, uh, yeah, I, I remember I said, why, why Nigerian people are saying dollar, 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 dollar. Okay, the dollar is coming down now. Where's the, 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 the prices of things are not coming down? Okay, let's pick another concert. Let's pick another car. I beg, help me right. drive. 
Help me drive past London. May you carry CM. Come, I beg. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right, let me take another call. A lot of people are calling in. Thank you very much, uh, Shukun So I can see you are calling in. I like guys, press on the like button. Make on see uh Oga CM uh principal. Make on see what you do. Um Shukun are you there? Can you hear me? Okay, thank good you. Evening, sir. Thank, thank you very you much. Yeah, good evening yes. to you, sir. Please I, talk to I us. I want to comment on uh, uh, thank you. I want to uh, two minutes, okay. I want to comment uh, on my governor, <laughs> Soludo. You see, really, he, I think he will have so many baggages of shame for me, for him to actually, I don't know, but whether out of envy or for political gain, for him to be throw, uh, throwing shades as Peter will be throughout last year, honestly, for me, I have, I don't, I don't, I don't even, I count him as a politician of the old order. For him to say that any part of Anambra that didn't vote for him, it will not work for them. As if you are the owner of the money. They, what you see, eh, uh, Oga Mr. Nanja Watch, eh, education cannot actually give you wisdom. I think for, that is the only statement that actually makes me to just finally throw the, the towel on, on Soludo. Mm. I, I just pray that it, it depends on, the, on P2B. If P2B can truly come out at us. P2B is one million times more popular than him in Anambra State. No, P2B is popular in Nigeria now. So Anambra is just like a backyard for P2B. So if he can really come out, next election, next year, we'll take him out. But if P2B say, okay, oh, let's just uh, hey. But for me, Soludo is just, I just count him as a satanic politician, just like APC. So that's just my condition. So I see him, she will actually come and see defend him. Let's hear what he will say. Thank you. You fear Pingo Kara come, I beg. I know, eh? I beg what I did now. Now you in the UK with an angel. Thank you. Thank you, my brother. God bless you. Thank you. All right. Let me take another call quickly. We have a couple of people that were calling in. Okay, let me go back to the uh to my panelists. Okay, yes, I got you. Thank you very much for calling in your name and where you're calling us from. Good evening to you. Hello. 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 Niger Watch. Yes, sir. Good Hello. evening to you. Where are you calling us from? I'm calling from London. Okay, sir. Talk to us. Go ahead. Yeah, I've been enjoying your, uh, your conversation. I've been following you. Thank you, sir. Unfortunately. I've not been able to join the this thing, but in near future I will join. I want to thank you for the wonderful job you are doing. Honestly, yes, I appreciate you. Yeah. Yes, sir. Keep it up. Yeah, don't worry. Although you say you are wasting, I pray each time at times you are here, you saying I spend almost six hours. Oh God, where did I get that six hours? How, how come about <laughs> that you've been able to sustain me to do this job for six hours? You know, it's the Lord's doing. Don't worry, history will not forget you. Eh? Amen. Keep Thank it you, up, sir. please. Yeah? Yes, sir. And keep it up. So I just want to contribute on the this issue of Soludo and uh, P2B issue. You know, Soludo has been... Uh, I've never liked him. I'm from Anambara. I've never liked him for a governor. He's a noisemaker. The noise maker. I saw the the road he built at the uh, Onisha. You see, I saw the well rain just swept off everything. He said, noise maker. Even from my own village, one of one point something kilometers, he the, he awarded the contract. Up to today, it hasn't been completed. He keep on telling us he's going to be the blah 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 blah. So, so Ludo has never been a serious governor. He's just a noise maker. The talk, uh, uh, it's not a working governor, it's a talking governor. I call him a talking governor. That's one part. On the issue of uh, P2B, I saw where they posted uh, that uh, they hijack. And uh, the man that spoke about the uh, Labour Party, I was listening to the video from the man from Edo, I listened to the video from mm -hmm. beginning to end. 
Yeah. At the end of the day, the man made a suggestion that Peter B should bring two people. I think he said he should bring his own people. Why Governor Oji will bring? Then they will bring to form. I think it was it was a bullet because I saw that thing coming. How can you organize a whole convention without doing? Going, sorry, I'm out. <laughs> it might be a bit long, but I want to explain certain things. No, go ahead. A convention without without doing the going through the world level. You say when you finish the national one, then you go to the world level. Where is it done? It's never done anywhere. I think he's been carried away by the money he has realized oh, since he became the chairman. He was the one that was the cause of all these things that is going on with the people that surrendered him. Because I had that man when he said they were all behind Obi during the election. He said even Falano, because I remember when Falano told Obi, go and visit all these uh, all these crews in the okay. labor crews. All right, I thank you. He, he said it. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you. God bless you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. Uh, finally, they say private jet don't carry Ogasiem Komo. Uh -huh. As we talk, so Ogasiem is in the building. Thank you very much, callers. I bet we'll go pause because the spokesperson of Governor of Anabra State Governor Soludo is here. Dr. CM, good evening to you, sir. Uh, please unmute yourself. Make we greet you specially now because they say they don't put to that for social media, sir. How are you, CM? Ogasi, we know they hear you. You mute yourself. We know they hear you. Sorry, sorry, sorry about that. Thank you, Niger Watch. Good. Oh, evening, are you are you everybody. trying to escape? Are you are you up, trying to up, escape up, the up, question? All, proto all protocols duly observed. I will start from. Uh, no, there's nothing like that. Uh, that life we did. No, not be submission. You know, you, you, I, no, 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 no. I don't do. No, no, no. No, I know that. We no, summoned you to, here. Uh, I went to give uh -huh. the first the, the first evidence. Abi. You okay. know the last the last video clip we played in which they said people some people shouted I never see where they pour cement for sand I mean for ground like that just they pour cement they open and they pour like this okay yeah that's no that's no problem I will give you a, I will I will just play this a uh, short video no no maybe if I talk about the one with this screen so okay see the one we wanna do so okay uh, if this if, if we also answer. Exactly. I will also use the video to explain this. This happened on Sunday evening or Sunday night. This road they are th they are, is a road that led to a place called Ochanja in Onisha. The contractor is still working on this. Thing, the contractor okay, is the contractor still working on this work. No, it never. This thing, just, just listen so that if, 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 okay. later we take questions. The contractor, just, just, just listen. I will give you, I will give you everything to start. I'm, I'm not, after I'm here in UK, I can't be there and be here. So I based on what I get. The contractor is still working at the close of work mm. because he's doing cement, you know, like a the level of stabilization. People pack their things out by the side and then go only for rain to fall that night. The this small mm, section oh. where you they see so so rain spoil them by Monday yesterday they had it and they arrived. I will show you a video of the commission. Hey. Everybody stand there hey, was yeah. explaining. So this road, hey, oh. this road has not been finished. It has not been signed off. The man is still working on it. It's just that the thing happened on okay. a Sunday. Yes, I'm coming on a Sunday night, according to the explanation. And this area, they even showed it. It's a tiny, not even up to a foot. Because they are still working on it. So he came to work the following day. I mean, if you are working on a road, the thing is that if rain fall, there's nothing you could do. Rain will fall on it. You don't cover it. So the small area, quickly. In, in, you know, see, you see this video they are showing? They only show you the ground. Mm. Oh, ordinarily, yeah, exactly. if you want to show this, if you, if you want to show this kind of thing, as you are showing it, you show mm. the area. So, so that people can even see buildings around and know, say, yeah, this is where the area you are talking Augustia, about. Augustia. Hold on, hold on. Augustia. Hold on, hey. hold on. Hold on. Uh, hold on. Uh, let me know. Let me know. Hey, hold on, please. Please. Because I don't hey, want to yeah. lose my thought. I don't want to lose my thought. So this, uh, this ahead, thing, this, yes, this thing they showed was just that place mm. the thing just happened. So the contractor then came the next morning and said, 
We've not finished. We are just mm. walking. We, we, we were walked here on Sunday. Oh. We left only to come back. The small portion that it happened, people quickly take him, then go and put, say, hey, see what they do. All oh, that's him. Oh, 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 hey, listen, oh, oh, let me ask you a question. Oh, that's okay, him. Me. UK, where yes. you day, where you and I day. If they, yes. they do road, even though not that day they start and rave for, if they wash out like biscuit like this. Do I do do I do I do I know what they are do do, Ms. do I know Ms. what they are do? I have Dr. to give CM. you. I have Dr. to give CM. you an explanation. Let me ask you this, Doctor yes, CM. Okay. Let me ask you yes. this, please. Uh -huh, yes. What you are seeing as fat here now. If they are still do what is asphalt, do they have no, laid no. the road already? No, 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 no. Pour another they, layer? They, they have not finished walking. So they, they are going to pour another no, no, layer listen. of asphalt. They, they have to do stone base. Asphalt. You see, you see, Niger, watch to be honest with you. To no, be fair, this is asphalt I'm now. coming, hey, I'm coming, okay. I'm coming. Hey, listen, 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 listen. Because I want you to not to be biased. I will give you a video of this human the explanation. You will see it. This one you are seeing okay. now, I will supply it to Wait, you. Please, Mr. Elvis, can I say something? Excuse me. The way you play this, you have to play that. So that when whatever I'm saying, those that it will make sense to, it will make sense to them. Those that it oh, will make sense to them. Oh, that's the okay. Let's, let's, hold on. Hey, let's hold on. Hold on. Hold, I'm hold coming. On. Now. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, please. So that the people it will make sense to, it will make to them. It's not to influence your opinion. Mm. But allow me to present what I have. So that you please, now make me based on that. That's one. Then we now go to the one of Adia, the previous one. So this is for the one you say we have to talk first. We will go. We will now go to the next of uh, the last one I played. Mm -hmm. I mean, the last one you said that we are pouring cement on the road like that. Then I will show. Let you. me say something. Please, can you can can I say something? Yeah, go ahead. Say something quickly, Mr. Aitza. Okay. You see, um, uh, Augustine, uh, um, let's not let's not justify what is not justifiable. If you are in a hole and you keep digging, you'll be getting yourself deeper. The person you want to defend is not what's this. Please, I am a civil engineer. I have done road construction. This is, when I saw that video the first time that somebody was spraying cement on a road, I said, where did this come from? And I remember, uh, Madam Love of God is my strength, said that you were defending or you refused to accept this. Because it's for your, your state government. It, it, it's justified now what the woman was saying that day. There is no way. I have done road construction. I'm a civil engineer. Nobody does that kind of thing. That's not, that's not civilization at all. So this is a pure mistake. Wash yourself. Indemnify yourself from this thing. Don't keep digging this hole and getting yourself deeper in the hole, please. You are bigger than this. Um, uh, um, 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 uh, I don't know who spoke, but Niger Watch. Hmm? What this last speaker said now he has never seen. Now I'm going to give you a video to play. If under Julius Vega doing it in Nigeria, if you still say you don't believe it, fair enough. But I'm happy you spoke before me. You said that as a civil engineer, you have never seen where it is done. Please, Oga, Oga Niger, watch. This is the video to play. Please. At least this is what Dr. Um, Alex Oti. Is doing in Abia. You will see it, Julius Beggar. You can play this. I think that is the video. It's on the private chat. I wish I can see it, but I will tell you the no, difference. No, 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 hey, 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 hey. no, 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 no. Excuse me. That's Let me tell you the difference. Hey, see, see, listen. Let Let him play it before you lecture okay. on the difference. Okay. It's your okay. area. My own, my right. own is, to, my own is to tell you. I have seen where it is done. That is my own, and I'm it is saying. in Nigeria. Listen, no, 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 it's okay Augustine. because, yes, I know. My own is to tell Augustine, you I'm not a civil engineer now. because the argument you, was we never know where, at least you said it here, you're a civil engineer, you have never seen where it was done. So please, you should play it. Then we tell I want you to explain to you yeah, the, no, no, no. Yeah. Yeah, the yeah. process, the yeah. process yeah. you're trying to compare with is not the same thing. Yeah, it's no, no, no. Yeah. Hands listen, off, listen, hands listen. up and I yeah. said that yeah. have, have you seen this one? Have you seen this one? Have you seen this one? Is this is Dr. Yeah. CM. No, no, no. This, no. Is, not, this is not it's the not one now. The same thing. Let me explain this, 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 to you. Let me explain to you how this thing is done. Let me explain to you how this thing is done. Listen, when the when this one is played, you can then explain. Because this one is not my making. Why are you afraid to see the one I want to show? Why? Are you afraid of anything? 
I'm Niger not afraid. I, 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 I know Niger the, watch. I know the word. Wait, Niger Watch, show this one first so that everybody will see it, not just you, me, you and me. Niger Watch, please show it. Please, for God's sake, just show okay. it. Okay, everybody, just show everybody it. hold just on. Show it. Uh -huh. Just show it. You hold on now. You uh -huh. just calm down, please. Don't lose your voice. You know, we are coming for you. Don't worry, Augustine. Everybody know what we are doing here. This is what you want us to show, right? Uh, this one on the private chat. Good. Yeah, he's on the screen. Uh -huh. No, no, you see. Now, this is cement they are pouring. This is Julius Vega. If you start, don't worry, it will be coming. This is cement they are pouring on the floor. I don't the want to play more than 30 seconds. And, uh, no, 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 they are you, coming. Uh, so like I know. Easy. He's still playing. He's still going. It's not much. Then you will see beggar. That is Julius yeah. Vega. That is the road they are constructing at here. But do you see? This is called cement okay. stabilization. I'm not a civil engineer. I want you to show okay. the... The, the I mean the people doing it. They let them know that it is Julius Vega. Before somebody tell me I'm defending nonsense, I'm defending evil. Only that person. Okay, let me. Okay, let me. 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 Let these are pouring cement on the floor. Okay, so can, can, I, can, I, can I say something? So, can I so say excuse, something? Excuse me, there before you come in. It was based on this. That's why I said I have seen where it was done. Everybody that day said, I've never seen where it was done. Now, this has vindicated me. At least this is okay. in Asia. Okay, that's okay. okay. Well, has it done. Done. Whether, Can you hold on? Can you hold on? I'm coming. Whether I'm May you wait when, now. I'll be one make a mute you. What is happening? You are just shouting, shouting, shouting. Uh -huh. They don't allow me now. Let me let me put my case no, no, across. No, you are defending criminality, please. You are doctor, please. Stop defending criminality. How is this? This is criminality I, 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 on the screen. I showed you evidence this of is what I saw. Okay, hold on, Mr. Tia. Okay, hold on. You hold on. You have said your own. Now hold on. Let me explain. Did you did you not? No, no, no. Not uh, this one first. Let's finish that one. Let's finish the other one. Oh, no, no, I don't want to finish that one. Talk about this one. You, are, you let other person speak, please. Okay, 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 okay. For this one, don't worry. You hold so on, you hold on. You can't just stop talking. Huh? Okay. I'll let you do okay. here. Me, Miss Dr. CM, let me explain something to you. In construction, there is something that is called sand cement ratio. Please, please. Hold on now. Hold on now. No, 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 you cannot. No, 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 no. You will say, you will say. Please, 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 you will say. Just just this. Let me add. I'm going to be patient for you. Please, what you're about to explain is why this is done at Abia. Not because CM brought it. It's why this is Julius Vega is doing it at Abia. Not because of CM. Please, not don't make it CM issue. Because I didn't invent it. It's something that is there. It's Julius Dega doing it at Abia. I saw it. So I'm giving you a reference. As a scholar, you make reference. If you quote the Bible, you are not the person that's responsible. It's in the Bible. That's all. Okay, oh. that's him. Can you just let this person speak then? He's speaking. Okay, go that's ahead. Him. Like. Oh, that's him. You see, the video we saw in Anambra, we saw a human being take open a bag of cement and was spraying it on the road and everybody was screaming what cement does with sand is to put them together to to, to coagulate it if you want to mold block there are some people that are molding block they'll put one one bag of cement in a heap of sand and they keep missing and making block that kind of block when you can if you are lifting it it will break Julius Beda, uh, uh, Julius Beda and G. Kappa, like you are talking about, these are international companies. When you want to use cement to stabilize a road, that is what you call cement sand ratio. You can't bring a bag of cement and use it to make 50 blocks. It will be brittle. The standard is you using one bag of cement to make 17. That's what G. Kappa does. And that's why you can, you can throw a block that was made by, by G. Kappa on the ground and you won't bring the uh, uh, ratio. This person took a bag of cement and was spraying it on the road. And then you want to compare it with somebody that is using machine, they're using cement mixer, a, 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 an equipment to put the cement to stabilize the dust right. in a ratio right. that is about two to one. Come on. Mr. Ike, Mr. Ike, don't forget that 
on that road that day, there was no any single caterpillar there. Re you remember on the video where they were pouring cement on the floor. Yes, no that Anambra was the person was, no was a human being, was a human being was so that was spraying it. A human being that was just doing it, and Augustine defended it. But yeah. now let's come to this, Augustine. Augustine, please. please. Please, what can you say is, about it, this it, one it, on this it, it is not i'm coming it is not enough people shout me down that i can't say anything the one of julius Berger, they are, they are not hey, i'm coming the one of julius Berger, they, are, they are not mixing cement and block they are not molding block so bring in what you see, what you say, hold on now. now you see hold on please i'm coming you see you see now that what you are not maybe, please allow me to people are listening to me People are listening to me. The one, right. the one at the above by Julius Berger, they are not molding block. The one at Inewi, they are not molding block. Therefore, I don't think it makes any sense for somebody to start to lecture me that if you don't have to, if you want to mold block, that's a way you mold it with cement. I'm not interested. What I'm only trying to I was do, just using it to, I was just using it to explain. I was, I was just using it to explain that there is one thing called sand cement ratio. I will interrupt you with my own explanation during your own time. And you may not like it. Okay. Now, the only the okay. only thing I want to bring out is I have seen whether you use your you use your hand to open the cement bag and fling it like this, or machine is dropping it as a parachute. Is the same cement dust is called dust is okay, called, that's it, is called, it is called, eh, no, it is called it is called cement stabilization. I have to be correcting some wrong impression okay. because okay. Somebody, we are, we've if I, if we've I allow it. now. Now, for this one, if you want me, for this one, this is the video you play for yes. the explanation. Because so that you don't quote me, you can quote the commissioner for works okay, and now, the contractor for doing what, it. What are you saying about this one? What I'm saying about it, I say play this video to explain because I've I've, I've, I've told you what no. happened. But play, no, no, but play this. the video on the screen. Oh God, Augustine, you are giving me a dick now. Eh, Let's I'm calm not down. giving you a This video I'm on the screen. You. See, I've okay. seen it. Okay, sir. This, this, ah. This is the video. Okay, what is, can you is, say about oh, what, what, I can say, what I can say about this video is this. Okay, the contractor better. handling the job yes. came in on Monday to say that they mm. finished job on a Saturday, I mean on a Sunday evening, and left, and there was a mm. heavy damper. They've not finished. It's just mm. like rain is coming. You keep your something down, and then tomorrow you come back. This is the small portion mm. it happened with the commissioner for work. They came and be explaining that after all, the man hasn't finished. For your information, let me put mm. this one for people listening. There's a street commissioned in on a shack called Niger Road, Niger Street. That is the street from Niger Bridge down to Main Market. This thing happened exact something like this happened exactly then. People complained. The man said, I haven't finished. Today they've commissioned the road and people are using it and they are happy. This one oh, is the commission that later day. So, 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 don't oh. take my word for it. This is the video where I got what oh, I'm telling Augustine. you. That's all. Augustine, do you accept that Soludo is a failure? In what way? In I this, know, in okay. what you are seeing right now. In, in what I'm seeing, Soludo is not a failure, and I have yes. reasons. If you list, I, I list them out for okay. you. It's, it's not okay. a failure. No, you just confirmed you are a spokesperson to Soludo. No, no, That's no, right. I'm not. Let's I'm, I'm, I, I didn't say I'm a spokesperson. I'm paid. Better, better, better. No, I'm not meritorious. Say... If you ask me, the thing you should have asked me was, how is he not a failure? Mm. Let me prove it. That's that, that's fair question, a fair question to ask. If I say no, but he's not a failure, see what you are <laughs> hey, hey, if no, I no, were you, Augustine, yeah, I would not stay no, out no, of this thing. I, I, no, it's a lie. I have my reasons. You are trying if to convince everybody. I, you have I'm not convinced anybody. It doesn't mean. It doesn't mean. What I want is tackle my reason, not my person, not my person. If I give you, if yeah, I make I'm a reference, tackle my reason, not my person. It's tackle my reason, not my person. So, so play this, no, play the other one. I'm not tackling you, I'm tackling your, okay, your, 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 your Elvis. support for satanic Elvis. Saludo. That's all. Elvis. Yes, sir. Elvis. You know, uh, um, CM, uh, nobody is tackling you. You are a brother. We, are, we all learn here. And there's, there's nothing absolutely wrong from being wrong. From uh, realizing that you're wrong, I know you're talking very strong from your conviction. You're you're very confident in what you're saying. But if to say I be you, eh, we get professional now with the uh, uh, with the amongst us this evening. That is that is that's his field. Let him talk. You might learn one or two things. Just calm down. That's all we're saying. You see, you see, when people say this, it's as if I do not understand. 
the professional spoke something. I picked out, I told him, when you are talking of molding block, I think they with the one they showed, they were a molding block. The one let's, I showed in our back, they were a molding block. Only thing that this oh, one is pouring the, cement. Okay, hold on, this, this one is this one is this one is pouring cement through the bag. I'm doing it. Oh, one one. Saying, the other one, the, 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 other, the other one is say, the other one is pouring cement using a machine that is bringing it from the roof. Sort of like pouring it as if it's raining. It's the same thing that we okay. spend stabilization. And what that. about that? Okay. Hey, so please, please okay. play. In, 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 oh, fairness, in fairness to me, play this video. Him. Yes. Augustine, you said this before now. This is the uh, ninth time you are repeating it. It's okay. That's fine. Let's assume you won this now. That's fine. Let's just move on. Let me take this call. You know, um, I know. I'm just surprised. That's all. You know, let's no, let's no, move no. on. You know, no, you know no. on this platform. <laughs> you know me, I'm taking calls. I'm taking calls. Somebody's on the phone. Augustine, somebody's on the phone. Please. <laughs> Please, Black Panther, go ahead. Talk to us. Good, day. Uh, Good evening to you, uh, Mr. Ajawosh. Thank you very much. Please Good go evening ahead. To everybody, uh, Mr. Tun and the other speaker that has spoken. You know, on this channel, we said one thing during the election, and continuously we'll be saying it. If you want to defend Nigerian politician, you will have a dick that doctors cannot be able to to give you medication to solve. <sighs> Augustine, they are showing you a picture. This is a finished work. Exactly. This is not um, stone based. It's a finished work laid with kota. Huh? Before you before you start building road, your weather forecast you have known it. There is a time for you to make your stone base, and there is a time for you to put every other thing to get to a level. You monitor the weather. <laughs> if the weather is not favorable, you don't put that last layer on the road. If you know you've not been about to finish your stuff, this man has finished it and has put the last layer. Even if you have not put the last layer, that layer that you put with a, with a, with a, um, uh, uh, with a, what they call it, cement, that water is also so wash away that uh, quota on that base there. So this is a bad job. This is a bad job. This is a bad job. Go and check all the roads they are doing. Even when you have not completed a road, the water cannot wash that road and wash that uh, car off that road like that. If there is stone base, if there is no stone base, that is what you see. If there is stone base, you can the water cannot wash that surface off like that, and it's floating on it. That's to tell you the stone base on that road was not done. There was no stone base on that road. Look at it; it's swollen. It's, it's swollen up. Water is under the under that quota, that will show you the kind of biscuit road they are doing. So if you want to defend Nigerian politicians, you will go to have a, a problem with yourself that doctors cannot be able to prove the kind of medication they will give you. You will have headache. You have to see the end. You have to keep mute and listen and see the end of this talk they are doing. Thank you, Nigeria Wash. Thank you. Thank you. Let me take another call. I'm not going to wait too because I need to drink water because Augustine, don't give me a headache. Make that hold on. Let me, um, Mr. Larry, you've called so many times. Okay. Mr. Larry, I'm returning your call. You just cut it off. Oh, God. Okay. Why are you cutting it off, sir? What's happening? You are calling at the same time and you are cutting it off. Please, you, you, you know, can you hear me? Hello. Good evening, Elvis. This is uh, Larry from uh, Aberdeen, Scotland. Okay, thank you, Mr. Uh, Larry. Thank you. Good evening to you. Please call. talk to us. Thank you. Uh, I, I, apologies. Yeah, apologies for bombarding you with numerous emails. Um, I think it was Engineer Mike that was uh, uh, that uh, civil engineer. I, I myself, um, uh, I'm a fellow engineer, civil engineer. Okay. And uh, I think anyone who's, who has a anyone who has a grasp of um, foundation. Uh, foundation uh, knowledge of um, road design and highway design you know that what's what's being showcased here is just a botch job that's that's what it is um, is what job a beautiful I, I job you said it's it's a no no i said it's a botched job no 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 that boss no job. not all of us know what botched me please use the proper word i beg i beg 
Is what job against her? <laughs> okay, it's, uh, this, 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 is, this is sheer display of incompetence. It's a crooked, crooked uh, job, that dodgy, dodgy job. Uh, no, incompetence, civil I said in English, but our mama not going to understand how for his high village. I bet you another word against her, Mr. Larry. It's a, it's a, it's a, <laughs> this is a bad attempt for a route. It's a bad attempt. It's a bad attempt. Hey, now you are talking. That, now, now, now you are talking. Yes. Hey, all those big, big words. Our mama and, not the year and, and yeah, I, I, I think what we should be careful is that we don't use red herrings or fallacies to then build upon an argument. Because you see a so-called reputable engineering company doing doing a particular practice where you be They've just got um, is it uh, cement spraying it on 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 the road? That doesn't necessarily mean that's how you do it. When you design roads, you need to just like a house. The road needs a foundation, and the depth of the foundation is driven by the class of the road. What kind of vehicles are you going to have on the road? Is it light vehicles? Is it huge trucks with you know uh, eight axles running on them? What what weight are they transporting? So there's a there's a lot that goes into road design. And what I can see here is just an excuse. And um, so, thank you. Uh, you know, um, everyone on the panel, everyone on the panel comes with their certain strengths and expertise. I would always default to Mr. CM when it comes to political analysis and people like Alex and you know individuals like that. I don't. I, I'm a I'm, I'm a civil engineer. I'm a structural engineer. That is the core of my knowledge, and that's what I've done for the past twenty years. Mm -hmm. So when somebody who has gone through this practice and the person of uh, Mr. Mike who's on the who was on the platform is talking about this is because that is the area of expertise and we should lend them an ear. Thank you. As opposed to trying to justify the unjustifiable. Thank you very Thank much you. and I'll keep listening. Thank you very much, Mr. Larry. God bless you. Our uh, engineers, there's all they call in now. Maybe your guys here go fist argue with them later anyway. Mr. Vitos, thanks for calling in. Please talk to us, sir. Good evening to you. I'm going to be misery. Yes, sir. Misery, my young watch and all the panelists and uh, viewers all over the world. Really, um, see, and I'm just disappointed in what it's doing this evening. The job there is absolutely bad. I I listened to Soludo after two days or three days ago when he was posting that. His road is like in Giga Road, the best road Anambra has hmm. ever had. But as God have it, we, uh, the, we, the, the road has exposed him. He's doing the type of road Rogers Okrocha was doing in Imo State. Just put cement on the floor. This is evidence that. He has done a bad job, and uh, Dr. CNG doesn't need to support him. I've been listening to CM's submissions. He has been doing a good job, but supporting this bad job want to disc discredit him. So for me, Soludo is a noisemaker. From the section of his office, he said he will make an umbra, a mega city, to buy of Africa. Original is two years. We are not seeing anything. So what is somebody telling us? Okay. For me, so uh, the job is not is not good, and nobody should ever support that. Thank you, everybody, and good evening. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Award. Yes, sir. All right. Let me quickly say this. Um, thank you very much, Benjamin. Um, um, Martin Benjamin, God bless you. I appreciate you, Jaja. Thank you very much, uh, George Blue Chair Grant. Thank you, God bless every one of you. Now, God, now God bless you now for the super chat. I would like us to quickly because I have something to say before we move on. Okay, somebody is still calling in. All right, um, Mother Tammy, thanks for calling in, man. Please talk to us. Good evening to you. Yeah, good evening, sir, and good evening to everybody as the panelists. Mommy Daspora, good evening, ma. God bless you. <laughs> okay, I yes, am happy. <laughs> ah. I'm happy because uh, our our five junior brothers have uh, made us proud, Senegal. Exactly. 
and our Nigerian eye neck appeal court and the Supreme Court, shame on them. They are Judas in Nigeria. I know they are regretting, they are hearing us. They are regretting. They thought that when they collect the money, they will put Peter B to shame. This government will do well, but now is biting everybody. That money they collect is not even enough for them with their immediate family, not to talk of extended family, with the economy of Nigeria. I know how much I sent home. Shame on them. Shame on them. Even the Northerners now saying they want His Excellency P to be shame on them. Where is a Muslim Muslim ticket? Shame on them. Look at what Senegal have done. Look at it. Look at it. Look at this English. Clean and very sensible upstairs. Very and intelligent. Why? Well, we are a giant of Africa. It's just like a family. First son, no. First daughter, no. If you do anything, last born, can't do something. That is what Senegal have done. I'm so happy, sincerely. They have been so happy to be an African. I am proud to be an African. Thank you, Ma. Thank you so much. But Nigeria, I pray that we can learn from this and let us kill our religion and tribe. I'm not sure and we can as learn. One umbrella. I'm not you, sure. You remember when I told you last year? I re you remember what I told you that the beginning of this year, <laughs> the heat is going to be heat. Even this Naira that is picking up is voodoo economy. Voodoo. Voodoo, when prices of things are still very high. So it is so, so, so painful and shameful what these our learned judges have, have done to us. Look at where they've carried the country to. Country that is high, they brought it down. Okay, thank you, ma. Thank you. Put it in the mud. So that is it. And then, sorry, sir. I want to ask uh, Ogasie, the doctor. That uh, if a, 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 a young man growing as a boy that is 12 years, can the boy now be matured to pregnant a woman? Please, I will want that uh, answer. Because why I'm saying the so-called man, he said he's 72, and his daughter is about, let me put it 60. So it was 12 years when he pregnanted her mother. <laughs> that is the question okay. I have for Okay, thank you. Thank you. God bless all of you. Thank you, ma'am. Yes, thank sir. you so much. Yes, ma'am. Okay, um, you see, one thing I want to say here, Augustine, before we move on with this, nobody is attacking your person. We are calling out, on this platform, we are calling out satanic governments. And nobody is exempted. If my father is part of the satanic government in Nigeria, satanic leaders that rule Nigeria, I will call him out on this platform. If my mother is part of the people that have ruled Nigeria, that have caused the excruciating pains that we all are facing today, I will call her out. You see, on this platform, I'm very happy that Augustine is one of the respectable figures on this platform. His submission is one of the submissions that I look up to on this platform. To be honest, I would have been very, very happy if he disassociated himself out of this satanism. Because you cannot defend satanic art from satanic soludo. And you are you you accept someone like me or other concerns Nigerians to listen to you. Augustine, you will explain tire forever. You will just be explaining there. You go shout, you go yell, everybody will all look, you go close the uh, close the broadcast, only you go win the, the argument. What we are seeing on the screen right now, Augustine, is satanism. This is a demonstration of satanism that we are talking about all the time. Okay, Augustine, are you going to tell me now, this question, you will answer it later on, that if this was roadway Tinubu do, let's be sincere to ourselves, please. Because you know, you were defending what you know, what you saw, what you watched, which is understandable. Let's assume, with all that knowledge that you already know, that is within you. Then I now presented this video today. Say 
see video where Tinubu duo or guys here will you not defend Tinubu with all that knowledge you were you you were you were you were passing earlier on to to convince everybody over 900 people watching us across right now you see i've said this before on this platform it's very sweet when we are criticizing someone that is not close to us or have any kind of affiliation to us but it's more bitter when it comes to us they will not be a bit careful you know Augustium, you are a straightforward person to the best of my knowledge for a long time. You've been on this platform. I will advise you personally, you don't have to take this. Sir. When it comes to this satanic set of people that have impoverished Nigerians to be for us, to have subjected us all, all of us to where we are today, I will beg you, allow their satanic spokesperson to do that job, not you. Because you and I, Augustine, have criticized more of this satanic spokesperson that went to Arise and Channels and we brought them here. You and I criticized them. You and I have stated on this same platform that anybody that wants to defend satanism in Nigeria must have, must have a thick, thick skin. Now, I'm surprised you did it the first day. Everybody moved on. Today, look what we are playing on the screen. What I was expecting from you, I'm not telling you how to talk. It's just like, this one, I don't understand it. Don't tell us they did it on Monday or Friday or Tuesday. The, the water down for Mami water come just that the water. He called the use shovel. They removed. No, 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 no. Nobody, in fact, statistically, if you want me to put an opinion poll for you right now, 90% of the people listening to us right now is not supporting what you are saying. In fact, the many 10% that will support you, Augustine, they are supporting you because they love you. The same love I have for you. Just say, mm, Augustine, a person with the respect, I beg, I beg. Make you leave him alone now. Uh, Augustine is right. That's why. That means if we... Hold on, sir. Let me finish, please. Hold on. That means if you scrutinize that 10% properly, you will not get to know that it's only 1% or 2% that is supporting your... Your, your defensive skills. Come on, Augustine. You know when it comes to these satanic people that have impoverished every one of us, I don't take it lightly. Because these people are satanic. And that is the only way I can describe them. And I don't expect someone like you, a high-level uh, uh, educated excuse, person, no, no, excuse, a, a, a excuse very me, distinguished me, personality, and you defend this Excuse me, listen, this is listen, listen. Right. Listen. Mm -mm, listen, Niger Watch. Listen. I don't patronize people and I don't want people to patronize me. I've only listened to all the phone callers. You see me keep quiet, just keep drinking water. It's only fair that when I say something, somebody can ask me, why do you say it? That reason is what you tackle. When they, the first, the, the last two weeks or so, they showed that video, somebody pouring cement on this. I said, I've seen it. Not that I was there. I say, I've seen where it is done. In the course of saying it, people say they've not seen, they've not seen. I quickly got these things, this, the first video you played. When I saw it, I said, look, whether you open cement with your hand, carry and the pole like this for ground, later you level it and do what you want to do, or a, or a caterpillar is, is pouring it from something like a flow. It's bad source because it's many. It's the same cement stabilization, and this is done by beggar. People can make up their different. Okay. At least, I, I, I just hold on. Ask at me, least, I, I, at, hold on now. Oh, hey, you see, you see, on, on, on but Niger Watch, please defer to me. Then yes, that I'm one, hey, I'm coming. Before. I'm coming. That one, people can make their mind about it. I, all I know is that I supply you the my evidence where I see it done. So okay, that's fine. Okay for that. But this then one, this, you also then I'm coming now. Then, listen now. You see, don't inter don't interject me because I kept quiet. Then this one. I said, why not play this second distance? I said, then I will not tell you why. You can, it doesn't mean you can still blame me. After all, after saying it, the engineer here still made his comment, Black Panther phone made their comment. Am I talking? But at least that one, I've been able to trash it. If anybody asks me, I say, I've seen it in Newi, I've seen it but in you Abadio, this one That's on the okay. screen now. Hey, no, no, no. The one on this, I said, play the video. There's a video to follow it. That I is don't need any video to follow it. You see, 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 you see
Now, nah, now, nah, this is what I see. That is what that do you mean? Video to follow it. Excuse me. Hold on. Excuse me. Oh, that's it. May you hold on. Let me don't, speak, please. Hold on. But sir, you please. don't allow me now. Nah, you've been speaking for this. Oh, no, no, no. Nah, this nah, 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 because I said, if you play this, like that, watch. Can I just address the point CM is trying to make? I think let's let's let hold on. CM, 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 CM. If you, I'm not sure you are doing a very good job of defending yourself. Um, I understand the point where everybody's coming from. Every Nigerian that sees a road that looks like that is a very, very bad thing uh, because they all see so many roads dilapidating like that. However, it's not impossible to have a road get damaged due to rainfall. It's not impossible. It happens here in the UK. It happens everywhere. And I, I'm surprised, TM, you were not able to address that. that and is, I also take the... Hold on, is, please. That is, that please, is hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. See, we have to take into account how many roads has Soludo made that has ended up like this. You can't always just use one to address the entire uh, road that he, network he has, he has created. And also, I take the point of the civil engineers because it's also valid to say the concentration of uh, cement versus uh, the soil um, has to be meet a certain standard before you can consider it appropriate um, this in, um, concrete layer. You see what I mean? So they all they all have a point. And I think this is what is making CM very, very passionate about the way he stands. But you know, CME have to see it from a more holistic okay, point of view. And so Tulaja, that we can look, get Tulaja, a, a better picture of what's up, happening. Tulaja, before we round up, let me ask Ogasie a question. Ogasie, so that we can move on, please. We are already over two hours. This is just a direct question. With all your explanation, your research, the video that you brought in right now, if this video that we are playing on screen right now, this video right now let me play it again if this video was coming from tinubu i don't want to mention someone else named tinubu and with all the knowledge that you've displayed today your research and your defensive skills and all that will you have done that the same thing just a question sir. what yeah this is what i will say the moment i see this video playing now on the screen and it happens that this one follows it the one you refuse to play what i will tell the people is that yes i saw this one playing on the screen but the contractor came on that same spot to say they've not finished, that they've only finished their job for Sunday. They ran for they he came back. Oh, God, 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 him. Him. That is what, what do you expect? What, we say. what do now? Hey, hey. Only you know the top. Can somebody else talk? But, ah, but you are talking oh, now. And when you give me time, you interrupt me again. No, you oh, been God, that's why I want to ask the question. Ogasiem, now what do you expect the contractor to say? To come out to say we are useless. We messed up. Is no, what is I, that what you were expecting the contractor? Let me play the video you are telling me. Just hold on. Let me yes. play it to the word. If you were expecting the contractor to come out to say satanic yes. soludo and then the, the, the contractor of them are useless, let's see. Listen the to most the important thing is that this this road has not been commissioned. It's still under construction. I thought you said I should play video for Christ's yes, sake. Yes, you are playing. It. You are playing it. Everything yes. playing. You are talking. You are playing it. Ah. Other people is watching us very well, so we are still working. I'm uh, the contractor of the uh, Frontier Construction Nigeria Limited, so we are working in Anambra for long, and we have a very good quality reputation. We are still guarantee you, assure the quality is the same as what we are doing before. It's a two point three kilometers. For the from Moore Street to Upper is almost 1.7 kilometers. You know, for this route, when we start building, we have a lot of challenge. The most uh, heaviest one is uh, uh, all those uh, market uh, traders and all those uh, drainage is blocked. Then we dissolving and dissolving almost every day, but uh, it's still blocked. You know, every day when the market finish, there's a lot of that is still. Okay, I'll stop it right there. I guess, Augustine, you are satisfied now. My question is, this satanic engineer and sat plus satanic Soludo, do you expect them to come tell us now to say, oh, fellow Anabra uh, citizens or fellow Nigerians, we apologize, we are useless. W were you expecting that from them? Please, Thank answer that, sir. What, what, what I expect oh, no, please, please, if, talk, if I, I please let, let me just say this because it's like I'm becoming a topic which shouldn't be. Unless a road is commissioned and handed over, whatever so far the contractor is still is still there, it hasn't finished. I will give him the benefit of the doubt. That is me. 
That's all. Thank you. Can I defend? Okay, can I? Can I? Can I say something? Hold on, hold on, sir. Hold on. Hold on, please. Uh, you did not answer the question I asked you earlier on, sir. Uh, Mr. Ogasian. If that I'm video asking. was coming from Tinubu, Tinubu. all the That's knowledge and person we put in today, would you yes. have done the same thing? This is my answer for those listening. If this road is coming from Tinubu or anybody, the moment I see it, and I happen to see a follow-up explaining that that road has not been commissioned, they are still working on it. It's only because they finished on a Sunday evening and they're going to rainfall and the following day they find out that what they did hasn't even settled. I will still give the man the benefit of that until you finish and they cut the tape to commission it. Whatever happens, okay, I hold you responsible. Augustine, That's what I will do. I, Augustine, I, mean, I play. I'm a, fair, I, I'm a fair minded person. Thank you. Okay, let me speak, sir. Thank you. Augustine, I played a video of a biscuit road in Edo State that the construction was still going from my own states, you know, and we all criticized Governor Obaseke, and you were part of it. How come you did not stop us that day to uh, say no, Niger Wash? As long as say you see trailer for the road, Tipa and all that. Uh, I believe this road is still ongoing. You were laughing and you were saying that how come our government are behaving like this and all that. We have the video no. on, on YouTube still. So how come? The, the impression the road passed was that the road has been finished and commissioned. That's all. That is me speaking. Because it's an idea if, was... if, if some... No, no, it's true. Listen, because I'm a fair-minded okay. person. The reason I'm giving does not mean you should accept, accept it. But bear me just quote okay. that. I said this, I gave this reason. Whether the reason, whether it makes anything, you know, if you can quote that I said this and I gave this reason, it's okay for me. Let everybody okay, judge me. But okay. if, I, if, I didn't uh, give a, if I give a reason, quote my reason. That's all. Augustine, I want you to understand it's not about you. It's about satanic soludo. The only reason why you came in because you defended him. So that's all. That you shouldn't even be the topic or be anything. It's about what because you know this platform, what we stand for. We show it to the people. Then we discuss what we have showcased. I don't just come here to talk about what is on my brain. I talk about what we have showcased to the people. You and I, everybody right here, we contribute to it. So what we are seeing on the screen is is disheartening. Is shameful. Is disgraceful. You know, so both what the, the engineer was saying or both what Soludo we say today or in the future, all of them will still remain rubbish because there's this is, is, is anybody who defend it, you are defending, defending the indefensible. There's no way anybody can defend something like this. Engineer coming to say, we did it. I went to eat by the end before I came back. Naja was, leave us no could talk this thing with a guy CM. CM, hold on, hold on. Oh, that's him. Hold on. Hold on. Just hold on. Just hold on. Just hold on. That's him. Oh, that's him. Hold on. No, let her finish with the talk. Let me finish. You are misquoting me. This road, the way it is, I didn't pass it as excellent. What I'm saying is that when I saw it, and I now saw an explanation, the man said, they have not finished, and the road is still under construction. I, CM, is willing to give any contractor the benefit of the doubt. The day you hand me over the keys, that you finish, then I know that, yes, if tomorrow rain then fall, I know you finish, you hand it over. But as long as you are doing it, and then even if uh, even if an uh, earthquake happened, it's not your, it's, I won't take it on you until you hand me over. I can't, I can't That's you don't do your defense, no good work. Oh, let me say it something. Mean, I'm let me you, say something, I beg. I mean, I'm ready for you. If you do this, I'm ready for you. We last no talk. We last no talk. You, you say my reason. We last no talk. Now, English, we talk now. That's the end. You cannot tell me that when a road is commissioned, that is when it is finished. That is capital, no. We in the contract, we have been assigned that the road should be finished in so-so date. And commissioning of the road is not the date where the road is finished. Mind you, get that into it. I don't contract before. Commissioning it is a date fixed by the government, not fixed by the contractor. The contractor has a date in which he finishes his job, which is signed and sealed. Commissioning is, is of, of the government. So when you say commissioning and they are the same thing, that is capital, that is capitally wrong from you. Coming from you are being political if you say that. That's the word you, of politicians. Don't say that, please. Don't say can it. I, can it's can English. There are two can different words. No ask me questions. 
just just or just no say that you can, 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 can i ask can i ask SCM a question okay, um, yes. how, how many roles have been constructed by Soludo and how many of them have been known to suffer this type of uh, damage do you know how many roads he has constructed you use the word commission you use the word you you, you use the word commissioned and or com completed or, or completed sure or so completed yeah escape. constructed that that he has Complete, been in charge of completed. and completed yes okay yes completed completed none that i know of anybody that knows can come up as for this one he's still under construction they've not finished the i like what black panther is saying it's still until you give the time if you give the contractor time the time given to the contractor hasn't elapsed it hasn't finished that's what i'm saying he's still being done Supposing tomorrow, as he's doing, he goes home and somebody comes and steals steal, uh, steal one of his caterpillar in the night. If he comes tomorrow looking for it, he's still working. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm not defending him. The only, my only reason is that people should have said, okay, since he hasn't finished, let's be seeing what he's going to do. They quickly Dr. Sier, okay, Dr. Sier, let me just come in here. Just let me just come in for a few seconds. You see, this position, we, I think it will effectively begin to rubbish any position that you take going forward. Because we might as well just give Mr. Tinubu time. He's still on duty. When he finishes, then that is the time we can now make assessment. We cannot make ongoing assessment. That's what God, God bless your God, Jonathan. So God we bless might as well you. just pack up. Don't say anything henceforth about this present okay. government until the end of four years or close to it. Then we'll begin to assess it. I don't I think politics is done like no, that and no, public I administration is done like that. You, Jonathan, I've already criticized Tinubu when they said Peter B should bring idea. I said they you 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 were, you wanted to spend 48 months. You've not got up to 12 months. We are asking for idea. That's a fair thing to say because he called for it. That's what I, that is the type of the criticisms I say. Okay, are you telling me that if there is a they are kidnapping people up and down, I shouldn't condemn it. I have to condemn it. Both of them are not the same. Both of the example you are giving, they are not the same. What are yeah, you agree? Do you agree? Do you agree? What are you know trying why they to are the come? same? No, no, no. You know, why, you you know why they are the same? You know why, why they, are they are the same? same? Why are they, they are the all same? the same? Because they ask the both everyone, every of them has to do with public administration. But every but, 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 but the one Tinubu is doing was based on the was based on what is he called? Was based on being elected into office. It's not an appointment. The one, the one, the contractor is doing is just based on the discretion of whoever appointed him. Please, I want people to understand. I'm not saying that the road is good, but I'm giving the benefit of that because it is still under construction. And the guy came there to say they just finished work to go home on, on Sunday to come back on Monday. Drain for the thing happened. People quickly went there. I gave an example where this type of thing happened before. It happened somewhere around Niger Street in Onisha. They did the same thing. Now the place has been finished and commissioned. People are going. Why can't they be patient? That's what I'm trying to point out. You know that I'm defending him. By the time you say you finish your job, then we can then know say you've done it. That's what I'm saying. Not that we are doing something all of a sudden. Maybe you went to take breakfast and then Robert come and take something or something damaged. And people come out and say, imagine what he's doing. Look at the way he put nail. But he's coming there the same day. This road will be commissioned. There will be a, there will be a water fountain down this road. And there will, by, by the time it's commissioned, people will come and see it. So my only thing is that when I saw this video, second video, I said the guy came and said they are still working there. Commissioner for works come and say they've not finished. That this type of thing happened in another street somewhere there, but they were able to do it. Because you can't, you can't, this is about entering rainy season. I know that people, people shouldn't misunderstand me. I'm, I'm, I'm not saying that the road is excellent. Ogasie, no loss your can, voice. Can Hold we, on. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I just wanted to give uh, Gassiem a, a lot of time to talk, to express yourself. That is fine. But can we move on now so that other people on the panel can speak? You know, because we cannot... Anybody that want to speak on this, that's fine. Use your minutes to talk on it. You know, but if we continue to speak and respond, speak and respond, you know, it's almost three hours now. Uh, you know, it's very... It's good to call this government to call them out to do the right thing. That's all. You know, we are not against anybody here. You know, call them out. You know, what me personally, which I, I, it's not my duty to tell people how to talk here. What me personally was expecting of CM is to call uh, Soludo out. You know, what makes you think Soludo is better than every other uh, 
leaders in Nigeria, all of them are satanic as far as I'm concerned. But let's call on the first person on the panel today. Uh, thank you very much, everybody, right there. I appreciate you all. But I'd like to quickly appreciate, uh, you know, uh, somebody who sent me 20,000 Naira, uh, Francis Odogu. Thank you very much. I received your 20,000 Naira. May God bless you. Your pocket never run dry. You said that you use it for coffee. I really do appreciate you. I got it. Florence Odogo, now God, I will bless you. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. All right. I have not showcased my Naira account for like how many months now. I don't know how you managed to get the account, but I just want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you put it on the comment section earlier on. So I have to check and I got it. Okay. Meanwhile, I'd like to appreciate every one of you that have super chatted us as well. Martin Benjamin, thank you very much. And thank you, Peggy Modi. Thank you, Ogatun. Thank you, Grant. And thank you, every one of you right there. Okay, let me take this call before I come to Ogatun to talk to us. Uh, sir, uh, Okmara, talk to us. Sir. Good evening to you. You have two minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, two minutes. Yes. I'm, I'm not going to take more than two minutes. Now, I've been listening to what has been you know, going on back and forth. Yeah. Okay. And then we have, you know, calling, you know, criticizing, you know, uh, people or maybe criticizing people's, uh, I mean, uh, opinion, which is okay. Anybody can criticize anybody's opinion. But you see, my my area that I'm going to now is what I know many people here <clears throat> will have issue with. Now, those of us that live in in the in the diaspora, I hear everybody here saying that when Nigeria, when the Nigeria is ready, they will come back and take their country. And it looks like those of us that live abroad here feel that we are not Nigerian. Now, we are not saying that when we are ready, they say when Nigerians are ready, who is Nigeria? Because we believe that people in Nigeria are the people that will be ready to take back their country. These people did not give out their country. But I hear everybody keep saying when Nigeria is ready, when people are ready, they will come out. Now, so if they, if they are ready back home and make the country good, would we not be happy to be going home? Sir, Even if we I have, have answer to what family. you are saying. No? It is a straightforward answer to what you are saying. You are the one that just mentioned that if they are ready back home. Nobody have ever said people back home. They are saying when Nigerians are ready. So it's inclusive. Include everybody anywhere you are as Nigerians. So now you just mentioned the word when you are ready back home. Nobody have mentioned that. Anybody that normally call in to say that on this platform. So now you they mention it right now. So if they say when Nigerians are ready, include you with the America, sir. When are you, what you should be saying now is that when are you packing your luggage to go to Nigeria so that we follow you? That's all. I know that I know this is what you will say because you have said that before that I should go home and you know help. No, you don't have to go home and do that. We here, that's what I'm saying. We cannot be saying when Nigerians when, when they are ready, when they are ready. Who is Nigeria? You are Nigeria. If the place is ready now, all of us will, even if we don't go back home permanently, we can now visit home with safety and come back here. So when we say when Nigeria, we should be saying when we are ready, not Nigerians. Okay. Because there's nobody in Nigeria. We talk over here like we are not Nigerians. Okay, that's, that's true. What I'm to make. That's People true. Should stop saying that. That's true. But Mr. Mr. Innocent, you know, say you no, know, not go like that to no run. No. When are you going to Nigeria so that I'll follow you, sir? Let me tell you, I'm, to, to be fact, I'm going to Nigeria tomorrow. No, 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 I'm not be that kind of visit to. No, not, not be saying not going to Nigeria anywhere. Not be that why they talk. There are, so, there, are so many, there are so many of you here, so many of us here that are, will not even step into Nigeria. Ask, make, a, make a poll. Make your poll. You will see. People will not step into Nigeria. Why? Why would because they not step into Nigeria? No, because they feel that we are, we are here now. We are all comfortable. I've been living in uh, abroad now. I, 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 I came out from Nigeria in 1982. 82. Most of these people here maybe have, they are still young people. They haven't been out. I've, I've been here 82. Okay. I lived in England, first of all, 10 years before I moved to I moved to US. So everything about what is going on about, I know that. But when I listen to people, I mean, I, I, I shake my head. Sometimes people just say things that, you know, because okay. we are here. I, all right. I, don't, I never say because I'm here. I, I take it that Nigeria is not the place that I can visit. You know, um, it's not my home. 
if the place is fine, many people here will pack their go looks to and go back and home. Go. That's true. They yeah. Will visit and move. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I agree with you. Much. I agree with you on that anyway. Yes. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. May God bless you. And yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. More will do this going no bash by bash. Those who don't move go out of Nigeria have nine seven something. They should leave their eight is go go, their nine is go go, their two thousand go go. Now some of you do a bash by bash. We need to get bash by bash. So do a like that. Bash, bash, so, bash. Some, some people don't do old for people. abroad. Some people don't do old. People they don't, don't do them. They don't. They then go back. They then go back. Go rest. <laughs> I beg. You like say, Mister Innocent, the time we take time like that, they they enter abroad. They never bought some of us. <laughs> we will we'll just, we'll just go we'll see they go nigeria come back go nigeria come back that's why everything those why don't go nice some something like uh um, cm we're gonna go back what of black panther what of the person we're carrying family go the hey, only only if you go now you go, 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 no, no, go listen 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 only you come back here out of safety you want to make you go back again that's where you carry no, family no, go. No, no, no. Yeah. And the one had, and the no, that one, that one no, if you go back now because of the issue where get at hand. But people like no, you, uh, you uh, can uh, go, Papata, your family go there for a year. Papata. Okay. Papata, don't forget with your guys here they talk. So you have to for Edo State. You remember that uh, Edo man will come from America with a kid. Yeah, 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 I know. You see, I why know. you send me that one wife and children to visit Nigeria? No, those one are you special, know, so. those one are different things. But people like Ogasi, where they like to do so, they're supposed to go supervise the road for uh, Anambra. Is that the best way you're going to do with that? More go see where you go. And, go. And, 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 and he suppose your day Anambra that they stay with Soludo. <laughs> Make it be PA to, to Soludo, special advisor on road construction. Like, sir, no, no, only you are, only, no, no, only, black, no, only Black Panther I give the right to insult me anytime. No, only him. Apart from Black Panther, nobody go feel searching for this platform. Yeah. Okay. No, 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 only Black Panther I permit. You can say anything about me. Well, I know. I, I know. I your two eyes nobody can now. Insult me here. <laughs> nobody <laughs> can insult <laughs> anybody here. It's not only allowed. Black Panther, only anyway, Black Panther go, go talk me, to me anyhow. I go cool down. Only Black Panther. Let me. That. <laughs> let, for me, I don't care. If I don't talk to you, I go off my mic. You wait, I'll run. Wait, because. <laughs> All right, let's call on Ogatu. Ogatu, thanks for your patience. Please talk to us. You have eight minutes. God bless you for your patience. Okay. Um, see, man. First and foremost, just uh, have it in your mind. We are not. We are not attacking you at all. And you know, say I not go insult you. Now, now our states now, now our backyard now. Don't we want it to be as good as? Um, look at what is happening, Abia, because Abia has sort of set uh, a benchmark for other governors to to follow. And um, you see that was satanic. I mean, I say I will go, I will go uh, commission that word. You know, it's um, we will go trademark um, anything that is wrong in Nigeria is just satanic. <laughs> I, I like that. But the thing is that seriously, uh, um, see, it. we it's very very clear to see the the standard of this thing is just to, totally unacceptable. Okay, we saw the video you posted. Um, I have seen it. Okay. Now, if I want to go and cut my hair and I'll get to the uh, to the barber's uh, saloon, and the barber wants to cut my hair with hoe and cutlass, I not go wrong. So you can't compare because what the the other video we saw the other day, they were they were literally pouring the sound by hand over the road. But we have seen the uh, the 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 evidence. It's a completed work. There's asphalt and all that. Water come, just push up. If it if to say not so, all the roads that are being built in Nigeria, if it rains, and we know we've got the tropical tropical uh weather and all that. And so the thing will just so let's just call let's call it speed is speed. And where we are speaking is for the governor to do better. Not that we have anything personal against him. Uh, against his person and all that we just want him exactly. to do better because we have seen what that is possible through um through what is happening in abba, abba. i don't know whether you've been to abba the I've only, I've only been to abba once in my life i was shocked and it was it was raining season i was shocked he said so this is the abba that they've been uh, been shouting about uh, center of commerce and everything and look at the uh, infrastructure and road and everything but thank god Thank God, uh, somebody sensible um, was voted in, and uh, we are seeing all the results. 
So it's not it's not a personal attack on you or Soludo or anything. I'm from Anambra State, a proud one uh, as it is, and all that. He he should do better. That's just what we are all saying. Yeah. So I just stop uh, on on that note for now. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Ogatun. God bless you. Uh, that was very brief and uh, powerful. But for me, you know, if you are exempting Ogasie, please, please don't exempt uh, Soludo. Don't just thank exempt you. Soludo, I beg. Uh -huh. thank you, you know, thank so, you, you know, all of them are the same. They are just the same, to be honest. All of them are the same, you know. But nevertheless, let's move on. Let me call on Mr. Jonathan. Mr. Jonathan, thank you very much, sir, for your long wait thank you wow thank uh, you very much please talk to us eight minutes sir thank you yeah thank you thank you very much mr elvis uh, greetings to everyone uh -huh. Augustia, greetings to you again uh, and, uh, to everyone in the house all those on the in the comment section i i greet everyone uh, welcome um you know I, I want to do so i just want to start you know with senegal because uh you know is so what happened there is i'm delighted because uh, for one what i want to say i was deprived to say that you know with respect to my country but i'm glad that at least a fellow african country i can say the same so i want to start by i want to congratulate the president-elect basiru faye is the newly truly newly truly democratically elected president of senegal exactly i want i want to i want to congratulate all the citizens of that country especially the youth of senegal that came out en masse on sunday to exercise their civic right to elect their own again their own president in a free and credible election. So congratulations to Senegal once again. I'm so glad that we're seeing that happening in Africa. Just right to our doorstep there. So um, uh, Mr. Oraka, you know, the video you showed on Oraka, he, he talked, you know, he spoke a lot. He also talked on uh, Renu or Mokri. You know, but I, two things I just want to drive out there that are so pertinent to me, so important to me, is if he talked about the the naira, the 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 the, the rates, the, the 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 rates, the naira rate versus the dollar right now. He talked about it, and people are dancing because I know over the last week now, some people, I won't blame them. It is out of um, out of ignorance, unfortunately, there's nothing wrong with that. You don't know, you don't know. They are dancing and jubilating that Naira is dropping. Nothing has changed. Nothing has changed. We are just in a in a uh, in, a, in a, we are being run by a government of lies. They said they they remove subsidy. At least when they said that. We are, you know, we are here screaming on top of our head, on top of our voice that please subsidy is not removed, it's not removed, it's still there, it's still there. Like, like every day, eventually it became clear and obvious. They have to even come out themselves and acknowledge subsidy is still there, you know, even much more. The rate of subsidy now is more than what it was 2023. It's, it's more. They are paying more in subsidy now. And they also said they float the Naira, which they did. Uh -huh. uh, Oga, Oga Jonathan, you said talk about that day, say the government, that they joke over this Naira, uh, yeah. you know, that is over the dollar of a thing and all that. Today now, a pound is now 1,600. What can you say about that? Yeah, that's what, I want, to, that's what I want to dwell on, mister. That's exactly what I want to say. Okay, See, okay. I'm don't listening. be don't don't dance at all. They, they there is, is no what they did was that you know they they took the decision to float the naira, which they did. In the midst of it, they realized that it was it was it was a colossal error, and they reversed it. They've not you know come out now to tell Nigerians that they have cancelled naira is no longer floated. Though. 
they didn't say that too, but that is what it is now they, they effectively they, they removed that because they knew that it was a colossal error so naira is no longer floated so they remedy that because how do you know that naira is no longer floated right now naira is fixed they fixed the rate of naira to 1310 naira period that's the rate now. 1,310 naira is the is the rate. So you don't expect dollar to go below that 1,310 naira. Because that's what they are giving it to the Buru the change now. 1,300. So the Buru the change can now put their own, whether it is 10 naira, 20, 30, whatever. But the central bank is 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 giving out dollar. At 1,310 fix. So that's not floating. You so you don't float it. So that way they are able to curtail the the the, 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 the downward uh, spiral. They, they, they are able to curtail it. So that's one. Two, it's not a big deal. See, dollar is dropping against all major currencies. If you if you go, if you are if you if if, you, if even if you don't trade currency, if you just go online now. Just do three days. Check Thursday last week, Friday last week, and yesterday Monday. Check the rate of dollar versus pounds, rate of dollar versus yen, rate of dollar versus Swiss Swiss franc, and rate of dollar versus euro. These four currencies: pound, yen, euro, Swiss franc. Please check it. Thursday last week, Friday last week, and yesterday, dollar dropped consistently it dropped against all these currencies so it's not it's not like any anything and like nigerian government is doing anything unique the first thing they did was they they stopped the bleeding they got to do they stopped the hemorrhage they got to do something on that they have no choice how they stopped the floating that the naira is no longer floated so let's get that so that's why we're seeing this drop that's it, and it will not go. You don't expect Naira to go because they won't give they won't give Biru the change for three one thousand three ten, and then Biru the change will now be selling it for one thousand two. It, it's not going to be possible. So what we are going to see is Naira be within the range of one thousand three hundred to one thousand four hundred for some time. That's where it's going to be. But the problem is that, as I said, Nigeria is going to borrow again. Please make no mistake about that. Very soon, they will go and borrow. And when they borrow, that's when we will see again <laughs> how Naira, how resilient Naira is. Whether, whether they now have the money, the foreign, the foreign reserve to support it or not, we will know at that point in time. Because when they, when they go and borrow again, they will, they will have to devalue. They will have to devalue. So we'll wait till that time. So that's what I can say. Sir Jonathan, can I ask you a question? Sorry. Yeah. Why is it that the government does not want to do the things that will sustain the Naira having more power and you know getting value against the dollar when they actually know that it's production? Why are they not going that that way? Because it's it's not within it's not within their reach. They can't control it. Nigeria is not, you know, it's just the basic. Nigeria is not producing, dollar is not coming in. Dollar is not coming in, like so. There is, it's not, okay. it's not within their control. Okay. Mr. Jonathan, Mr. Jonathan, are you telling us right now that the dollar will increase again or it's going to stabilize? At yes, this yeah, it will, it, it will stabilize within the range of 1003 to 1004. Take that, you can take that to the bank. That's what we're going to see in the next month or two. It's going to be within that range because for the fact that. They can't give Biru the change for 1,310 Naira, and then you expect the Biru the change to sell below that. So it's going to be within that range, between 1,3 and 1,4, for, for some time, a month or two. But as I said, Nigeria so is going to go. Two, what will happen? Because what will after, happen that, go, after that, it will go up. Make no mistake about that. But why? Why did I say that? It's because Nigeria will still have to borrow. There is no, they will have to borrow now. They, it, it, wow. it's, that's obvious. And when they do that, they will have to, one way or the other, devalue the currency again, and then that's where you will see Naira will, Naira will jump up again. So that's... that's so you, very, are, telling, that's you are telling me that we are not going to 45 Naira now? 
No, no, no. It's not going to pause. It's not going to. When, when they have, they have already fixed it. Mr. Mr. Jonathan, Mr. Yes. Jonathan, you know, you know, I said this last week. I said people, which is not is nobody's fault. Not everybody understands finance. See, when you look at the price chart, when it's going up, 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 there's a pullback. Now, when it's going down, 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 there's a pullback as if it's going to go up. It, all we see now is a pullback. And when the thing go fire go down, yeah, it will bust past 2,000 that we have seen. It will go it's straight to, to 5 to, to 3. That's, going, that's just the reality. In fact, I'm really, I'm we're, really, not seeing, we're, we're not seeing any economic activity. And even if you even even if they initiate any economic activity, it takes time. It's not, a, it's not an overnight fix that we are, we are seeing now. So that's what we should just know. But you know the Agbado people now, it's all about uh, propaganda for them. Oraka says something very basic, very simple, very basic. He said, why are people rejoicing? You you met mm -hmm. Naira at 700 Naira, they are about. And within 10 months, Naira, you know, went as far as almost 2,000. And now it's back to 1,003, 1,004, and you are running. Is it back to where they met it? Is Naira back to where <laughs> seven hundred or eight hundred? So what are you what anyway. are what are you jubilating for? So that's that's just let's hear uh, from someone else on that. Please, okay, Jonathan. Please. Yeah, please let me my, just uh, my... let me just uh, round up, Mister. Uh, let me let me let me round up, okay, Mister Elvis. Um, yeah, thank you. Let me just round up on this. Uh, um, anyway, you've exhausted this uh, road uh, road construction. Let me just round up on this. This uh, federal inland revenue guy running his mouth on a press conference there in Abuja. That guy, the federal inland revenue uh, chairman or director general, whatever the, the title is. See, Nigeria should be should, should be thanking their God that that man escaped. They should be thanking. They, 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 they like they, they like to call Nigerian fools. That's what they take Nigerians for. They should be, they should, now I know that they are thanking their head that this man escaped. That's why they have to even play it. Because why? And he was talking that is now they, they can, they can undo the man anywhere in the world. I dare you to go and undo him now. Because if you open his mouth, if you open his mouth, you say you want him to, you want Binance to give you the names of 100 people. Those 100 people are your own people. They are, on your, they, are, they are your own people. So just be thanking your God that the man escaped and the man is not open his mouth to talk. No, and Mr. Jonathan. Yeah. Nigeria has already filed a motion to Interpol for process, how they will process the whole thing and get the man back. They've already filed their papers to Interpol now. But so, but so, but so funny, you know, Nigerians, that you see, they think that they can run this thing the way they run Nigeria. You know, the way they will just go and pick somebody. They will, somebody will just use police to go and pick somebody because he has money, but, he has but, power. But, but have, they, have they arrested anybody at all for this? They, no, nobody has been arrested. Uh, uh, <coughs> they've arrested some Nigerians, actually. Oh, you, so, you know what? You know what? This case, in any court, in any court, I, that's why I said Nigeria should be thanking their God. If, the, if this case should go to any court outside Nigeria, then let the man open his mouth now in court. Let him open his court. Let it then give us the names of those people in Nigeria. Can Nigeria stand that? Can they withstand that, the shame and the disgrace that it will bring to them? I'm even, I, I'm even saying it boldly that they will even be playing on the ground to ensure that this man run away as far as far as as he can that they will not even be able to trace him for life in which where do you want to bring him to because it is only in nigeria anyway. they can they can you know they can show all this power team just take somebody and lock him up in nigeria you want to do that in it anywhere any court anywhere in the world and the man will stand in any court it's not nigerian judges so it's not that you are going to use the military or the police to bully him or in any court anywhere in the world the man will speak all right. Those hundred okay. names that they are calling for, he will, he will open his mouth and they will list it out for the whole world to hear those names. Whether you will tell me it is the hundred dollar guy or the two hundred dollar guy or the one thousand right. dollar guy that we're talking about, so they should be happy Thank that you. the man is, is is out of their net Thank you, Mr. and Jones. just call it case closed. Face Nigeria, Mr. Elvis. Let's leave it. Let's leave it at that for now. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Um, 
Before I move on to the next person, let's quickly listen to this, our Edo sister. About this man with the blood of Jesus. Don't say the situation we're within for this country now. Nah, blood of Jesus is very important to... Ah, hmm. Blood of Jesus is very important. I bet help me swear go for people where wish this man bad. Ah, see, governor, right now, me not know whether or not the governor is supposed to pray. I've been at the Abia State House of Assembly. Edo State House of Assembly, you know, they see you now, mate. You know, they see what they do. To see I'm a be you the craze. My people might just to now. Ah, break and tell me now understand. Abia Assembly is passing a bill. A bill is like a law. To stop the pension of ex-governors and their deputies. Meaning all those money where they give who don't sell finish as governor. Who don't if money finish as governor. All those salary where they still they pay them they go. Abia Assembly say no more. You are done, you are done. The state is no longer paying for your frivolities and your useless lifestyle. That is an assembly. I don't state as Assembly the Pasha Shwaibu. Azua no mako. Azua no kobo. When I your friend the category one that belong to enter. They adopt candidate with senior na papa. My friend go and sit down and pass relevant bills into law. Say they don't stay. Oyin do. You see your men. You see what your men they do. He go give the other day the governor. He truly worshiping Yaya Bello. A failed governor to our faces. A governor that couldn't. Peace, worker. For months, running into years. Want to help me cover Abia State's governor with the blood of Jesus? All these people no go see him. Shame on all of you. You not suppose they use me as cover face. <laughs> all right. Uh, let me call on the next person to speak to us. Now, wow. Okay, uh, Mr. CBD, thank you, sir, for joining us. Good evening to you. Please, I'd like you to talk to us. You I was here before please. him now. Eh, but you left, you came back. Yeah, I dropped eh, out okay, and sorry. came back okay. in now, technically, because of things. Eh, but when you, when you drop out, you lose your spot now. I didn't eh? drop out for five that, minutes man. even. Come on, I didn't drop out for five minutes. So technically, you issues. For one second, you already lost your spot. Okay, go ahead, or guide yeah. to Nigeria. Go ahead. Go ahead. If, uh -uh. if you drop out, then seem... you'll be penalized. <laughs> I, I've never seen that before. Um, all right, all right. Um, greetings, uh, Nanjawa. Thank you for having me. And um, greetings, uh, greetings to everyone on the panel and uh, to the chat and the viewers. Um, yeah, the, the currency, you know, we can get it back to 1459. Uh, all you have to do is just remove the two zeros at the end, and uh, we, we, are, we are back. No, and, uh, no, no, but no, no, I to... <laughs> no, we need to pray, we need to provide. <laughs> You know, the, the Ghanaians did it um, because uh, their currency was so useless that uh, they just had to remove, I think, almost three zeros, if I'm not mistaken, on theirs. Uh, because if we remove two zeros, I think psychologically it doesn't make a sense. Because if you keep having these thousands, thousands, everybody wants to go and buy coke, they buy, they pay thousands. Psychologically, it's not very good. And it doesn't work with the way our minds work. It's not a very good uh, way to go about it. If the Nigerian government cannot bring the exchange rate down, then maybe that is the direction to go. At least, uh, even if um, is, is, the economy would have to adjust to that, it's better in terms of the way people operate with the currency. Um, that said, um, this idea that the bandits are taking Naira, uh, you know, when I saw the picture that bandits have Naira behind their back, I was like, are they more patriotic than our politicians now? Yeah, I, I don't know, because those ones, uh, they don't take Naira, they take dollars. And um, the, the whole thing is so um, uh, kind of, um, it, it's just contorted. The reality is just bent upside down. Uh, because the ones that is paying them are useless, and uh, the ones that uh, are paying them are rushing for other people's currency. Uh, the entire thing is leading us to this mess that we experience where our girls and women, children, taking hostage. I, I, who takes children hostage? Who takes young girls hostage? If those are not depraved people. And we leave them, and they just keep getting away with it over and over again, because people just let them get away with it. I say... You know, see how we we are trying to eviscerate uh, CM today. Maybe we should be eviscerating our leader, focus on them in, in this way and making solid demands. That is going to actually make a change on the ground. Um, so that will move me to um, uh, this CM, uh, this thing, this uh, road issue. It's not even CM issue, actually. It's road issue, so apologies. Um, I, I think that we have to sometimes reserve a bit of, uh, you know, judgment to an extent especially when we are dealing with somebody that is associated with at least with uh, with an iota of um, um integrity we shouldn't just tear them down i do understand the frustrations 
and I do understand the the trauma that is associated with Nigerians uh, seeing uh, bad news. Uh, which of they have the integrity? Please make sure that who who. I, I think CM does have a little bit of consistency here, even if, if I don't like some of his politics. You are about Soludo, if, no, 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 CM no, no. I don't know Soludo now, but you guys were ripping into CM as if you, you didn't recognize yeah. him. <laughs> so, uh, um, Mr. Tunaja, we are not in an executive uh, distance. Speak straight to the point. Thank I'm speaking you. straight Thank to the point. Thank you, Thank Am you I not much. speaking straight to the point? Am I speaking sideways? I'm ad literally addressing the issue. I don't know what you understand what straight means. If you don't, talk, please talk help about yourself. It. Talk, talk, straight, to talk straight to the issue. Help, help, help yourself with ah. the straightness. Eh? Okay, when, when, you, I when, sitting sitting here, straight. when you are sitting here attacking your own without thinking, you know people do have feelings. What are you saying, and, um, people? What do you say without thinking? Without, Am I without thinking? thinking. Because two Niger, two Niger, but you know that was all like uh, some friendly kind of uh, banter. No? Hey, it's not that you should learn how to use like your that. words. It didn't appear like that. CM was uh, doing what he does when he's coming at me. Uh, when CM starts doing what he does when he comes at me, you know he's distressed. Uh, so uh, that, ah, that was... Two Niger, like, make you talk. <laughs> can, can, you, can, you can you guys let me talk? Can you guys let me talk? Niger, watch. Niger, watch. Can I say something? I'm addressing you now. Can I say something? Yes, I have yes. Yes. what do you want to say? It is high time we 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 we, we respect ourselves very well. Mm. When somebody is trying to okay. mimic or say something, mimicking it and see that it is it's a Latin talk, I don't take it lightly. When somebody okay. tells other that person that he's thinking, he's not thinking. That is an insult. How about you that interrupted me, telling me I'm not talking straight? What I mean, am I? You, you I said go straight to the point. You know, you. how do you know I'm not talking okay. straight? If you, can, you cannot follow straight, how can okay. I help you? Okay, okay, okay. Please, can we allow him to speak now? Tuna Jerry, make two minutes for your time. No, it's no, it's I just use one minute. It's seven minutes rebellion. These people just interrupted me. I me to talk straight. Eh? Okay. It's seven minutes rebellion. Okay, go ahead. These people cannot take my time today. Okay, so, go ahead. Now. So um, my point is, um, we sometimes we have to, you know, reserve judgment a little bit because if you look at the matter, you have to also ask yourself how many roads have Soludo built that has ended up like this? Because we all know, even here in the UK, roads do have rain damage. It's true. These are realities of uh, construction. And um, to fully make a full judgment is to look at all the other roads he has constructed. And it's very clear, if you can find the roads he has constructed that has suffered the same fate, then uh, you can pile on him up clearly knowing that this guy has a, a pattern of creating, uh, uh, constructing uh, um, uh, low quality roads. And uh, so that's why I just said, maybe we should be a bit careful before we start, you know, jumping to conclusion. But I do understand the frustrations that Nigeria feel. I do feel it too. When I see some of our sites, and if you look at the sites and sounds of Nigeria, I, it almost makes me want to weep. It's really terrible. And I understand the frustration people feel. And I hope CM understands that too. That's why they are coming at him like that. Um, so I will leave it at that that issue. This Senegalese uh, president, I really thank God for uh, what has happened there. You know, Senegal, <laughs> you wouldn't even think it's a Muslim nation, isn't it? Um, they haven't had a coup, considers democracy, and they've actually elected a Pan-Africanist leader. That is very rare. I'm not even sure it has happened before. That is very rare on the continent to elect in a free and fair election, elect election. a Pan Africanist leader. That is a good sign. And this guy is going at the French. And I, if he follows through on what he has said, I'm telling you, this could be a transformation uh, for the entire continent because it's never happened. It's a sign of things that are coming uh, along the way. But they are going to do everything to thwart him. And, um, we, you know, we just, I just, you know, sometimes when we hope too much in Africa, uh, what we tend to get, it, it, things tend to turn sour. And um, I think we need to support him any way we can. I really enjoy the way Nigerians are supporting Senegal. Nigerians, you know, you guys are very good at praising other people when they do the right thing. But you guys don't, you look at how we, what you guys wanted to do to CM today. So we, we should treat our people a little bit uh, with um, that kind of grace to an extent. And our people are very, very grateful, graceful people when, they, when it comes to other people's success. I really appreciate that. And uh, this Binance guy, <laughs> I hope he doesn't show up anywhere because uh, they are going to find a way to catch him. 
Uh, if Interpol doesn't catch him, uh, Nigerian uh, will give him the Kano treatment. And uh, also, um, the soldiers, I, I, I just found out that he escaped for days before we found out. <laughs> hey, God, Nigeria. Uh, the guy disappeared for days before Nigerian authorities knew this guy has gone. How does somebody disappear and you don't know for days that he's gone? Such a, a high profile detainee. What if he was dead in the prison? <laughs> how are you going to know? How can we operate like this? This is uh, the way we are running our country. It, it makes us just look bad. Anybody that just looks at it from, us, from afar can detect that. Okay, what if he was dead? They wouldn't know. This, he was able to disappear. They would just say, oh my God, this world can easily be compromised. Because it's a sign that the people don't know what they are doing. But I will reserve judgment. You all know what I think about our security. It's so messed up. We are not doing a good job of handling it at all. And um, But I believe with the way we are going right now, with the signs that I'm seeing on the continent, and I also think that our Nigerian people, their eyes are beginning to open. There's a reason why somebody was showing that video of uh, the market. Some people are beginning to feel that this standard of road is not, it's not good anymore. We have, we deserve better. And that is a good thing. So Ludo will see it, even if he's not guilty of what he's being accused of. But he's going to know now that people are watching very closely. And they are willing to call him out if he does anything wrong. And that's how it should be. And that's what, that's the, the thing I would say to TM. Don't feel, don't take anything personal they do to you here because this is what Nigeria needs. We have to question everything and rip anybody apart. You guys have seen how they rip me apart here. I don't cry because I know the state Nigeria is in now. Everybody needs to be questioned. No apologies to anybody. Like I said, as uh, Ozekome, no apologies. I will question you. And if you don't respond properly, I will call you out. And that's how it should be for all of us. And I must say, Nigeria Watch, I have to give you credit today. No matter what, you, I, 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 I'm not on your side on this matter, but when you said you were going to hold people accountable, I think you are, you are really going about it. And that's how it should be. We should hold people accountable and question anything we see that we don't like. And it's a good thing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Tunisia. All right. Uh, I'd like us to quickly move on to the next person. Anybody that want to respond to anybody's submission, you just wait so that you can use your eight minutes to respond to that so that we can move on. We're already over three hours already. Okay, let me call on the next person quickly. Uh, Mr. Ike, um, I can see your network is failing. You know, uh, I'm please, here. I'm I would here. like you to talk to us. I'm okay. here. Talk to us. Thank you. Have eight minutes. Good evening to you. Okay, good evening, everybody. Uh, like I usually say, the more the merrier. Whatever we say, whatever we argue, we are arguing to learn, not to win. Like you usually say, Mr. Elvis, we argue to learn, not to win. Um, exactly. I was so delighted about Senegal, sincerely. And do you know the power of the people? When that former president said that the election has been suspended, he did not take anybody going through social media to say, please, let's come out on so, so, so day so that we can go and protest it. People came out spontaneously to say, what? What? That's you are not trying to change our election calendar. It will work. And immediately the Supreme Court went in and nailed it. That was why that election was done. But in our own case, nothing is happening. Nobody wants to come out. Nobody wants to protest. And that's why these people can do all this. Nobody advertises. Nobody called. It's not like the NS. Mr. Ike, we are your network oh, with this now with this wonderful submission. Mr. Ike. He's not maybe even he, said anything. It's wonderful maybe. submission already. Maybe. 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 No, he's just no, in, no, 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 he's no, no. Just, he's just doing it. I know where he's driving to now. Mm, I know where he's driving to. And now na, 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 they stop and so na, 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 salute the internet. Now salute the internet in get. He's barely spoken for 30 seconds. It's what happens of vision. No, 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 no. He's going somewhere that is very important. He's going to, you know, he's going he's to talking about it. So, he's talking about 44, 44 years old president, presidential uh, president uh, 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 elect. You know what that means? 
Eh? Okay, can I? Okay, Nigeria watch. Nigeria watch. Can I speak when he comes? Let's move on. I will give if he. Okay, let me. Let no, me he never reach your tongue. That's him. He never reach. Uh, uh, our guy CBD now. If he come, ah, uh, Mr. Ike, if you are hearing us, go and come back again while Mr. CBD talk to us. Mr. CBD, please talk to us. And you have eight minutes. Because Mr. CBD is not available, so fortunately, let's move on to the. To the next person, which is uh okay, don't reach your turn now. Nigeria watch, please. Okay, okay, please go ahead, sir. Thank you. Good evening to you. Eight minutes. Yes, thank you so much for uh giving me the opportunity, and uh I'm happy to see uh powerful people on the screen, excluding to Nigeria, of course. I mean uh, people like Rita, uh, Madam Rita, uh that's CM. Jonathan, everybody, Black Panther, you know. Why are you excluded to Nigeria now? Which is that? To Nigeria, to Nigeria is my guy. Well, uh, uh, well, <laughs> but no problem. Yeah, thank you. So, um, uh, this thing of uh, Soludo, the problem with Soludo is, uh, I, I feel like um, he's, he's still... Uh, all this kind of petty politics which i don't like but uh, so far to be honest with you i support uh, somehow the thing that uh, tuna just said that uh, we can't uh, if he has like if there's a trend of him making roads that uh, or maybe being in charge of these roads that have been constructed that are washing away then i can come out and start you know, really talking about him. But if this, maybe this one, maybe you wait for results of other roads because he has, they have actually commissioned quite a number of roads uh, in Anambra there, uh, Oka, Onisha, everywhere. They've been doing a lot of work. So uh, if this one is like this, maybe we give him, let's just say, okay, uh, it's just some uh, carelessness and um, uh, nonchalancy or whatever. So let us wait for, or let's try to see the result of some of the other roads. Then uh, we can now say this guy uh, is not serious with how quality of roads that they are making. But for now, I think I wouldn't want to like uh, condemn him totally because I've seen that uh, he has been working, has been doing roads. Let's see, maybe. Uh, so if, the if, he was, we'll do if now. he was, if he was Tinubu, will you say you will just leave this for now? No, no, when yeah. if Tinubu does uh, uh, 20 roads, for example, and uh, one has this issue, I don't think I would come out and say, you know, uh, to be honest with you. But the only thing is that uh, for Soludo, my issue with him is this kind of politics. And there's some word, I don't know how he thinks or who advises him. These kind of words, like coming out to talk about Abga strongholds and all those things. You know, I think he should, if he's going through, if he's... Um, in tune with what is happening in the political space of Nigeria, people don't talk like that anymore. So you have to make sure that you don't sound like that. You know, you work for the people. You can't hear someone like Alex Oti talking like that, saying that, oh, we will do this for these people because they voted and, uh, you know, and all that. So let him focus on what he's doing, uh, continue to do more. I can see that uh, someone like Alex Oti is not just working for the people of Abia, but is also like a source of motivation because now it's, ma it's making these other governors to look like they are just uh, wasting space, you know, because when they see the way the man is performing, I don't think any governor in their right mind will just uh, relax, you know. And uh, for, um, what was the name? Um, this, I, I, there's a clip you played about that you have made talking about how um, Nigerians tolerate a lot and um, uh, there are some African uh, country governments that have been brought down just by the increase of, uh, is it the price of bread or something? It's truth. You know, to be honest with you, we have now internalized this kind of tolerance. Yeah? A lot of things uh, contribute to it. For example, um religion um you, you go you you go to of course in the north or some other places you, you can they tell you that protesting is even a haram is a sin but it's not an haram when they are protesting against a government that is not uh, 
maybe the president is not from their religion. Is there? Is not an Aram. But once it's their own uh, person, then they'll tell you, "Don't protest." Is an is an Aram. You go to some churches. You see pastors. Some pastors will tell you, "Let us pray. Let us pray." You pray from morning to night, and you forget that even in the Bible. After praying, the children of Israel, after praying, God to tell them, go, I have given you now, go and pause. So it is the part where you have to now walk. You have to go physically and do your part. You know, you don't, nobody is you know, advocating for violence. But at the same time, you don't just, uh, when God have, have removed the spiritual barrier for you and given you, you know, and you're still waiting. I don't know whether, whether people now are waiting for the angels to just come and now say, okay, oh, Nigeria, now we are going to physically, angels will start working among us and going to fix everything. It's not possible because God will empower you with the courage, with the knowledge and everything. Then you go and do the physical part. You know, that's how I see it. And uh, I feel like that's something that uh, I understood from what that Yamed is saying. Because uh, you can't expect people to, you know, and, and one of the other reasons is this psychophancy culture that we have is a, is a real thing. This culture of psychophancy is one of the things that uh, is affecting us in that country. Whether you see the way people are following the so-called celebrities, you know, some of them are yeah, yeah, British, to be honest, like someone said. But the thing is that you can't even, you know, is the person that you like. Because if it's someone you don't like, you won't even condemn whatever they are doing. You will see the way they will defend the people that the person that they like. You know, it's crazy. It's stronger in some. I don't want to make it a sectional or regional or tribal thing. But uh, if we are being honest, it's stronger in some parts of the country than the other parts. You know. So, for example, the, in the north, uh, uh, it's not you can tie it to religion. You know, you can tie it to religion. Uh, in the Southwest, it's a culture of respect. But unfortunately, which is a very beautiful culture, everybody knows the Yoruba people for that, that there's a lot of respect. But you there are some corrupt, evil, demonic men that will come and try to take advantage of those, uh, you know, that, that beautiful culture and see an evil person coming out and... Uh, you know, because he knows everybody will say Kabosa, Melesa, Eshesa, all those things. Then before you know that person misuse that influence and try to now do their own nonsense. So it's just a psycho fancy and uh, people always uh, having all these superstitious mindsets that they go better or all those, you know, all those kind of things that they have indoctrinated in our parents, you know, or older, the older generation. So before you know, the younger people now are also going through that route and saying that one day, one day, go better. But I wish, I've seen that there's a change somehow, but I hope that it continues and people understand that we need to take our destiny in our own hands. Nobody's pushing for violence, but we need to All do right. the physical work that it needs for us to, you know, move to the next Thank level. You. Thank you. Thank you, Oga. ECBD. God bless you, sir. Thanks for your submission. Okay, let me quickly move on to Oga CM. Garcia, you okay. have only eight minutes, sir. Thank you. Okay, thank you. I will use my eight minutes to talk about Senegal and the other things. Now, on the economy and the exchange rate, when Jonathan mentioned it, I don't know much about that, but I, I think the best thing in exchange rate is stability. During our bachelor's time, when we have a fair share, when I noted what they call a macroeconomic stability, was during our bachelor's time. 82 naira 50 cobble. It was there almost for two, three years. Just like that. Not that it should have been one to one. It should have been better. But as a businessman, what do you want or anybody, if you're, even if you're a manufacturer, you want stability. Such that if you are buying your raw material, whether you are manufacturing soup at uh, <coughs> Ikeja Industrial Estate or Agbara Industrial Estate in Ogun State or anywhere, you know that the chemicals you are importing to manufacture soup or whatever, you know this is the dollar, how much you spent. So if it's fairly stable, you can then make projection. The same thing with businessmen, if you are importing anything, whether motor spear pass, everything. So it's not really helping that it's making you, you. And that is where economists always have problems. If, if, if indeed, 
Hello? Somebody is up. Hello? No, no. Uh, who's on? Who on mute? Do the talk so that now got to. Oh, me. Uh, I better okay. go ahead. Okay, sorry, sorry. okay, so so like we are saying, Jonathan was saying, maybe one thousand three hundred and ten is what they give uh, the BDC brew the change, and then they will be going. I wish it will they will settle for one thousand three fifty or one thousand four hundred, and it becomes that stable. If, instead of going up, let it be that stable, and then be falling. Such that people could plan. That that helps the economy as much as I know. Not that I'm supporting 1,400 or whatever, but let's not just jump to 2002, 218. This, 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 it doesn't pay. And that is what is causing all this inflation. But if we are, if they are saying anything, whatever they are panic beating it, it remains fairly that level. At least for the next six, seven, eight months, people will say a dollar is always a 1,390 or 1,395. People will say, okay, it's fairly stable. So that's what I will say there. Then for, for that of uh, Senegal, at least if I had that speech, I will make it a bit of a national anthem. I will keep it. I have to have downloaded it. The guy said something that is instructive. Apart from all the things he said, he said France should hands off. That is what they call a petrol. He said France should hands off and they allow them to do their thing. That reminds me of what I said. I said, any day I find myself in government, what I will write in my office, paste it as if it's a photograph, is what George Bush said. He said, I can never sign any agreement that will put the Americans out of job. They're talking of Kyoto and then all this, all this uh, pollution. They were doing that ozone layer, um, uh, um, uh, the big emitters, all those things. America is the biggest. But George Bush knew that if we should sign them, then they go this reduction. It's going to affect manufacturing in America and then job. So he said no. You see, leadership is all about selfish interest towards your country. The way that guy spoke, to be honest with you, whatever, today he won my heart. Because he has shown that he's ready. He reminds me of Thomas Sankara. He's shown that he knows where the problem is and he's going to tear France off. So leave us. Imagine telling France that Italy used to be a colonial power. Spain was a colonial power, but they don't meddle. He now told Italy, uh, France again, Germany is the richest country in Europe. Germany is a colonial power to Namibia and there may be other countries some, sometime in Cameroon. But they don't meddle. They are self-sufficient. They look in West and develop themselves. Do, you, do, we, do we know that Germany gave some amount of money to Namibia just to tell them sorry for the colonialism. They shouldn't have done all those. Just like, you know, just like to atone for their sins. I've forgotten how many million euro they gave them free of charge. That was recent. So what the president of Senegal said now, in fact, this is the type of, said, the guy pleased me very well, very much. I wouldn't mind if he takes over the leadership of AU, African Union. Let him be at the helm so that if he's preaching this type of thing to some leaders, they will know that going to the West is not the best. I'm not saying that we should be in, in a, at loggerheads with them, but let it be that when you sit down the table, if they are talking of this, you say, look, this is what I want in Senegal, so it won't benefit the Senegalese. By the time you deal with them like this on one-on-one, -on -one, they will know that, yes, you've come, because that is what they do. Britain left the EU because they felt that they are not getting a good deal. Whether it's, whether they are regretting it, now it's up to them, but that is, their, that is nationalism at play. They decide to go. Nobody forced them, and this is the way it should be done. So if Senegal is trying to sort of win itself from France, from this one, the speech of their newly elected president, that is the way to go. I, be, I, be, I believe all Senegalese will be happy. But then let's look at it the other, uh, the other way. How did this man get to power? Because the Senegalese wanted him. It's as simple as that. That is, a, every country or any society gets the type of leadership they deserve. They work for it. Because I remember then going on, a, is it a, a protest that the election must not be postponed and because they know this guy is on the ascendancy. And they got it. So this is exactly what it is. I've never believed, as much as I don't look at, I know the white people or the Western power, they can oppress and get what we want. Yes, they steal our crude oil because we collude with them. If you say this is, if the, anybody today say, look, this is what I want, you call their bluff. They may push you. They did it to Abacha when they gave him a, a, a what is it called, sanction, although that is understandable because they are not June 12th and their Biola is no more and then Sarawiwe again by 1990. So 
the anger of the people wasn't, but the man looked in west and then felt, okay, since this is the case, he called that look, what can we do with the best of our economy? I don't think all theft was this rampant under Abacha, because that was the only thing that Nigeria was expo expo exporting then. Yet we are having fairly steady power supply, although the population has not come to this much. So in other ways, patriotism is, I think somebody said, when the West are praising you as a leader, you know that you are cheating your people. But if they start to hate you the way they did to Li uh, Libya and Gaddafi, you know that, yes, you are helping your people in the way they do not want. So this Senegalese leader, I wouldn't be surprised that you start sponsoring editorial in European media, particularly in France or all these uh, some countries, you know, trying to say something or whatever, but let him be strong. My message to him is he started very well. Let him be strong. The most important thing is... Eight minutes, so eight minutes. So Niger watch, it's like uh, you forgot the time. Uh, who, who is this now? Uh, waiting. The time Wait, never reached eight minutes now. Have you, are you not enjoying my lecture? What are you? Which which, which one are you there now? Why why you look at him? Look at him! Look at him! Look at him! Politician <laughs> talking. Yeah, the you, currency you, one is you, spot on, you, though. The currency exactly, one is spot on. Exactly. Are you are you a killjoy? We are here to educate. Forget about. No, no. That. Sorry, sorry about that. Uh, I'm not, I'm coming. For, forget but, about Sorodo Sorodo. <laughs> See, listen. Let me let me ask you something. Eh, no, 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 no. No, let me finish. No, you don't Forget want about Soludo and the road. Forget about all those. Let, let's, it's let's not about Soludo. So this Senegalese, let to summarize. This Senegalese leader, in fact, I'm with him. If he can, let him be his man. From now on, he must know that he has angered a, 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 permanent, a permanent member of the United Nations, which is France. But let him wait for backlash. With the people behind him, he will succeed. And they are wanting to make alliance with Mali, Burkina Faso, Niger Republic right. and maybe any other country like that. Thank you. Thank you, Augustine. Thank you very much, sir. All right. Um, you know, let me quickly move on to the next person. 30 you know, seconds, please. Uh, okay, 20 seconds, not be 30. Go ahead. Okay, well, uh, I knew uh, thing from what CM was mentioning. Uh, you know, talking about those who are countries who are not interfering, I think that's just. Uh, I think you made a mistake or opinion, though. The all those countries you are using as examples, Germany, Spain. Okay, you you talk you talked about the given Namibia. I don't know how much, how many million, but uh, their population is very high in Namibia. So it depends on what you mean by interfering, by the way. But uh, using an example of Spain, I think you should not even go there at all how much uh, Spain, uh, they spread themselves all over South America, everywhere, even Africa here, yeah, Equatorial Guinea. They are well, I, I think involved. I get where, where both sides are coming from. I think uh, Nami, Germany too, they do have some influence in like Namibia. They have a lot of land there, more than the local. Yeah, their population, forget even about the influence, their population is so many, there are very many there. And uh, you need to ask Namibians to know exactly how... <laughs> Whether if they are interfering okay, or not, that, if you go to the, South Africa, the same thing. Thank you. Yeah, it's just off your to mind, point out. Yeah, you don't already point out, sir. Off your mic. Thank you. <laughs> Let me call uh, on the next person. I wanted to get around so quick because we're almost four hours. You know, we started late talking about solo dotting. Okay, let me come to Mother Rita. Uh, uh, to Naja, uh, I'm no, sorry, na Nami, uh, Nami, Nami. Uh, Sorry, I just remember now. Black Panther Beck, talk to us. Thank you. Good evening to you, sir. Uh, thank you, Mr. Nanjawash. And um, I thank everyone that I've spoken. All that protocols. You got four minutes. Four minutes. We should have been four minutes. You go scatter this place, so. We should have been four minutes. You never fed, you don't fed talk since now. I, I never talk now. Before. This man, I go, I go, I go, I go, I go, tell you to call to. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> from here, I will go international court, charge you, Naja Watch Company, straight. Before I charge, we will go charge Tinubu first. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank everybody. It has been fun. May God bless everyone of us. Mama, our mother in the house, God bless you, mommy. Your days be longer than that of a metu seller in Jesus' mighty name. I want to say something here. And we have spoken very well, with the exception of two Niger. Two Niger, I want to quote you. 
I have only known Nigerian politics for the past two years. And that makes you a learner in Nigerian politics. And you got to subject yourself to learn. Then when you are put, making your impact, you, you know the direction in which things are going to going in Nigeria. Why we are all here laughing, oh, he's doing something, doing something. Nigeria has lost a lot of soul for 30, 35 years of the military rules. We have lost a, we have lost great, great men and women in Nigeria. And Nigeria has been coming from a very long way. Nigerians have, have been battered. Nigerians have not enjoyed anything. Nigerians have not enjoyed anything about their country. They are willing to serve, but they've not really seen anything. They are willing to give, but they've not seen anything. In the 21st century, our brother came here and said, some of the senators were talking about boho. Some of us were looking at it as if it is just mere some mere word. But Sorry, I think your device you are using is um, tapering off your voice. So maybe you should just speak directly to the phone. Thank you. Okay. Can you hear me clearly now? Yeah. Yes. Okay. We can hear you, but it's on and off. But I guess it's fine now. Go ahead, sir. We should, we should, we should try as much as possible. Go back to where Nigeria is coming from. Our father said, if you don't know where you are coming from, you won't know where you are going to. Many Nigerians who have stayed in Nigeria, who have studied Nigeria, knew where, knows where Nigeria is coming from. And when a sitting governor we come to this limelight where Nigerians, the, what we want is more than the road we are seeing. And a governor will be making mistakes on just mere roads that counties all over the world does without not making noise, then we come out here and try to pen the narrative that they are helping Nigerians. Look, I'm not here to, 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 to make caricature of the Nigerian state, but I'm here to speak the truth of the Nigerian state. And where we have to start from, until we start from there, we can never and we never make a headway. This thing looks as if some of us might be speaking because we want to become, we want to we want to hear people say we are nationalists, we are this. Look, I am not here to speak for people to, to love me or like me. I'm here to speak because i have the passion and it is my beloved country that i want the best for my beloved country but nigerian government nigeria past leader leadership have have taken down the best of nigeria and they are making sure that the best of nigeria never gets to power to give us what we want to drive this nation into the 25th century proper and how do we drive this nation, the ship, into the 21st century? It's not by coming out here to praise one man that call himself a professor that cannot even build a road without not making noise. I heard him when he was speaking in launching one road in the east there, in Anambra. Mr. Soludo, Professor Soludo spoke for five, six hours. He didn't allow anybody to speak. He started making noise a professor, I'll call him Professor Emeritus because he has gone to so many countries to, to, to lecture. He said, if you did not vote for me, I will not make any project. Is that the kind of man you will sit down here and tell me that, oh, the man is trying and doing something good? I will not even say anything. If he even is doing something good, he has not done something that will affect the economy, the real economy of the state. Look at the governor of Abia State. Look at what, what he's doing. Is he, is, he, is he shouting all over the place? Telling people that if you don't vote me, if you didn't vote me in, I will not come and do any project in your place. 
If you want to know a bad governance, a bad government, listen to the message is given out. You will know if you will succeed or if you will not succeed. To me, I am saying it here. Black Pata is saying it. Go and write it today. It's the 20, 20, 26th of March, Tuesday, 4.30 p.m. American time and 10.40 p.m. London time. Mr. Soludo is going to end up not doing anything. He will end up like the other politicians that are, that are evil all over the place. For making that fundamental statement, that has qualified him as one of the most wicked and evil politicians. And I want to say something here about the economy. We all say, I respect Mr. Jonathan because he's digging in and as an expert in this field, he's digging in and he's educating us on, on everything. And he's con in his conclusion, Nigeria will never have a headway. From his statement, I am round, round, running a conclusion on his statement. Nigeria can never have a headway until we go to the principle, the fundamentals of developing an economy to make it self-sufficient, to, to make your dollar naira to dollar to run parifaso or even go above the dollar if they don't address that issue if they don't practice that issue and they continue to go with the red lick of the world bank and the other world where they borrowed money nigeria economy will never flourish so that is my thinking is deep my thinking is critical i'm not thinking from the surface if we don't get the foundation now that is how we were trained as a scientist if you don't get your foundation well you are going to run a wrong conclusion now let us look at the electoral law the electoral law i spoke on it two days ago a day ago, just four hours ago, for eight hours ago, I said one thing for Nigeria to you go into an, another. Yes, thank you. For Nigeria to go on another election again in 2027, Mr. Our Peter Obi should start addressing the issue of the electoral law. He should start sending the message up so that the message will get to the to the every legislators every looks and corners of the country everybody should start saying it if nigeria electoral law is not defined if it is wavery they are going to continue to rig our election if a nigeria electoral law is defined and we we all conclude on one process to use the beavers to process our election nigeria election will be 75 percent getting ready for the 21st century for now if we go into an election again, Agbado we win. We win the way he has been winning. Steal it, snatch it, and run with it. There's nothing Peter Obi can do. There's nothing none of us can do. He will Sla pay people to do it all over again and over again and over again. Agbado we win. Agbado we win landslide. I, I, my my conclusion here is that we need to speak on the electoral law. We don't need to struggle. We need to start sending the message out. That is how Nadeko starts sending their message out when we all grew wide in our various cell and we rose up and go out and force the junta out with other external body which hated Nigeria to force them out. We need to start sending the message because the word of a man is powerful than any other weapon. Thank you, Mr. Nigeria Watch. Thank you, thank you. I uh, appreciate the, your submission, most especially that, that last part of it. Yes, if we can continue to speak on that area every time here on this platform, I think that would be nice. And I, I hope it will be uh, our principal will embrace that. But nevertheless, let's quickly move on to Madarita. Madarita, it's good to have you on the show. Good evening to you, ma. Please talk to us. You have eight minutes. Yeah, good evening, Mr. Elvis. Um, good evening to everyone on the panel. And my lovely mommy diaspora and then um, everybody in the comment section. Um, I'll try and be quick. I, I can't say everything in eight minutes, but um, re I'm referring to the road construction, in which uh, Dr. CM was trying to elucidate. Rita, for. I time you, you know, so whenever you say you're not going to yes. finish your minutes, uh, we know the Mr. Way we you have taken five minutes already now by interrupting. Okay, thank you. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. 
please oh listen okay before i start with the um the president of senegal i want to thank the gentleman who called because i was listening off and on to the civil engineers who were trying to explain you know how roads are, co are being constructed a proper road construction and i would say google google is your friend you can type anything you can type the images you can you can go to youtube and just look at how roads are being constructed thank god for the age of the in internet you know it's not rocket science and um you know I, I i i'm very very happy that you have people who are in the industry of civil engineering coming out to educate us to explain how it's been done properly um whether it's julius Bega or ninja cat or whomever is coming to construct the road it's africa the way they will construct the road in africa will be obviously different from how they will construct the road in germany obviously there's certain things to be um to consider i mean looking at the kind of soil and all those kinds of things the geographical area and all those stuff but you know there's a, there are two things that came into my mind the first one was what if what if some as a result of the way the road was whether it was commissioned or not commissioned or people were already using it what if somebody died as a result of the condition of that road i don't think we'll be here to listen the family want to listen that that road was not was not commissioned yet or that is the first level come on now that's I am not a civil engineer, but I, I, I have seen road being constructed. I have taken time. Those of you in diaspora, please take time. Summer is coming. And most likely, you know, you'll, there will be some sort of road construction when you're driving or when you're passing. Please take time to look at how the roads have been done daily if you're passing the same road. I have taken time. And most times you would see a signboard that tells you um, they are starting this road and put, this is when they are ending, you know, the construction of the road. Or this is when the road is going to be opened. I usually see those signs here. I don't know about where you live, but if you take time to see those information now, if, if we're really, really a, a country that is transparent and know what they're doing, there should have been a sign. An ambassador government, when this road is being started, who is the contractor and possible end of construction, then you know, they, then there will be any time for us to say, oh, it was not completed or it was completed. There's no need for that. What if somebody passed away as a result of the condition of that biscuit road? And another thing, the qu question I asked in the comment section was like, if the road was not completed, why were people, why were people, if the road was not completed yet, according to what Dr. CM said, why was, why is it that people were already using the road? Why? They're supposed to put on off the road or put some, you know, pylon to say, okay, this road is still under construction. There's nothing there. So that road was completed. You put abstract on top, it's completed. That, listen, Google is your friend. Google is your friend. The engineer that used the right word, he said that was a botched job. And that's exactly what it is. It's a botched job, period. We have a long way to go in this country. For someone like Alex Oti, I'm not praising him. And I, I know people are excited. Oh, there's 24 hours light. He's doing what he's supposed to do. People are praising him because we have not seen so far. I, mean, I would just compare. I would say from the days of um, Obamudia, you know, how he constructed the roads that are still existing today in Edo State, still perfect. And then what this man is doing is, is kind of the generation that haven't seen like what Obamudia did. They haven't seen that. Let's say somebody who is 24 years old i seen this is like a big deal to them so that's why this there's an upheaval all over the internet oh he's doing this he's doing that yes he's supposed to be doing that but we need to put it out there for the other governors to say this is this is your counterpart even if alex ot hasn't done 100 percent because i believe he has not done 100 percent that's my opinion because he's a public servant so i don't need to praise him but i just need to recognize and compare with my state for example with the biscuit roads that we are seeing on a daily basis so you know, let us let us not start defending or giving excuses for something that's not right. When, especially if you live in diaspora, you see things every day. Take time. Every day you go out, take time to see what's going around you. Construction, building construction, road construction. Try to juxtapose it when you're coming to argue. And especially when you have professionals coming here to, edu to educate us, please allow yourself to um, open yourself to be educated. Um, going by the Senegalese president, congratulations to Senegal. Um, this is the future of Africa. Um, you know, this is an example of, you know, what kind of staring away from the mental and physical slavery of the, um, the continent and its people. And I would say that Senegal reached this stage because of they had strong institutions. 
I was reading uh, the papers on online. There was some sort of um, scuffle with the uh, the judiciary system. You know, sorry, the the politicians that wanted to like turn everything around to their favor. But the people stood up. The institutions stood up, and they stood up for the right candidate. Peter Obi said, "You win when when um." when the when the people have chosen you and you are being sworn in but when the people didn't choose you you didn't win so bola ahmed tinibu i'm saying again the one that from bodylon avenue in lagos he did not win and even if he has been sworn in you know into a constitution that a constitution that is fraudulent anyway you know it is what it is and you know and you know it, it's it's so fun the only thing i could advise um the president of senegal now i i pray that he doesn't be the kind of president that doesn't leave the stage while the ovation is loudest. And also he should be very careful with the people who are around him because in every house like that, there's always a Judas. So Monsakara faced it, Mama, um, Gaddafi faced it with uh, Museveni betrayed him, uh, Blaise Compere, you know, he betrayed Thomas Sankara. Then you have the, uh, um, what's this man's name? That betrayed the Patrice Munumba. It, I mean, there's a plethora of them. It happens. There's always somebody who is loose that the West will always want to use to pull down a system that is working. So this president has to be very, very careful with the people around him. I know they've tried several times with Mali and they've, they've always defeated them. This is not allegedly. If you, if you know how many times the French government, but let me use allegedly now, have tried to infiltrate the, um, Mali within the past one year, you'll be so surprised what these people are doing. So I would advise this, this gentleman this very brave African man that I'm proud of, this Senegalese brave African man, please be very mindful with the people around you because the West will always look for the weak link around you. That is, that's just how they've been working. That's just how they are designed. So um, I praise the Senegalese people and it's a shame on our Nigerian judiciary. Shame because we, our institutions are weak. Senegalese institution, a judiciary decision, I'm very proud of you. You are standing for the truth. You are standing for the fire. You are standing for what is right and what is best for the future generations of Senegal. Nigerian judiciary system, shame on you. Shame, shame, shame on you. I just wanted to say that, you know, regarding um, Senegal. And then, you know, I, I can juxtapose that with what happened with, um, you know, when you gave an example with Belarus and Ivory Coast with Qatara, I don't want to, in fact, I have, I have stuff to say about African president. First of all, the AU should be, it should be decimated. There's nothing like African Union, it should be removed. Even um, ECOWAS should be scrapped. This is a new generation. Perhaps new generations like this, um, a new Senegalese president, and Malian, uh, um, the Malian president, every, they should all come together and possibly create another re renewed African Union because the present one we have now is not working. It is sucking us dry. It is putting us in shit. It is making our countries look poor and they are sucking us. In fact, they are sapping all the energy, sapping our, our aspirations. They are sapping even our confidence. A lot of Africans don't have confidence in themselves because they see that the, their leaders are, 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 are kissing the asses of the West. So it's, it's transcending down to the citizens. A lot of Africans right now, they have no confidence in themselves. They have no confidence in how they look. They have no confidence in their skin. They have no confidence even in their accent. They have no confidence in even the country they come from. from. And it's as a result of bad leadership. So, so this is the face of Africa. Senegal, Senegalese, if you're out there, I'm very proud of you. I'm happy about the judiciary system. And I'm saying again, Nigerian judiciary system, shame on you. Nigeria is an example of a man who pumps iron in the gym every day. He has all the muscles, he's ripped and everything. But they say David, who doesn't have who doesn't have those muscles, but he has his brain. So it's like you are just a weakling, you're the giant of Africa. Then what? You have the muscles, but you can't even use it. You can't use it. Senegalese is not even in the population. You can even add one or two states in Nigeria, and that's your entire Senegalese population. But they are using their sense. They know what it is to have strong institutions, and they are implementing their laws. But Nigeria will just have the muscles. Not it. It's just. Let me let me go to the next topic. The next topic is um, for the Binance executive escape. Yeah, I would say the immigration, Nigerian immigrations, Nigerian customs, the EFCC, the NSAs. Um, in fact, the police in themselves, Nigerian police force, the army. I'm going to I'm going to add all of them inside the same basket. All of them are compromised institutions, including the judiciary. Before I forget, including the, judici the, the judiciary, because they are part of uh, um, they are part of this thing. Of why we have this Binance executive escape? And I could say, I can be. In fact, I I am praying that I'm wrong, 
but really and truly they're not going to pick up this guy this binance executive that, that escaped he's not going to come back to nigeria he's not he's going to be protected by the people the money the money he was keeping for those people they're going to protect him so all this noise and all this is just going to be like voicemail gradually this topic will phase out and going by the children that were that were released um i don't know what to say right now and the presidency is saying they were released without ransom nigerian deserves to know how they were rescued nigerians deserve to know nigerian deserves to know who these kidnappers are or whatever name that they've given to them allegedly nigerians this is a proof yes i'm using the word allegedly but i know everybody really knows the truth including the enemies listening to me right now this is a proof that there's a collaboration with the feds and the kidnappers allegedly again let me just you know what you see this um, nigerian budget they should just add that another um red dot and just say miscellaneous and they put it in bracket parentheses and say ransom for ransom budget because after all if they have if they can get trillions of naira the senate can pass it in the name of ways and means they might as well just add that uh, just add this as an you know attachment to say money for uh, the federal government spending for re ransom potential kidnaps because that is what is going on so now nothing is being said we know very well i will say allegedly again something was exchanged something was exchanged how am i even sure if, if this if this so-called kidnap was was arranged and then they made a whole lot balloo about it in all the media just to steal more money from nigeria and then everything went cold water come on man come on come on thank you I, I, let me just stop there maybe in my next round I'll, I'll complete the other ones thank you mr elvis thank you thank you uh Mother Rita. that was a good one uh, from you although you promised not to finish your eight minutes but because the the fluency of your submission i could not stop you when you crossed eight minutes thank you thank you man okay uh let me come to um uh, mr ike the last person on the panel to speak to us um uh it's very sad that um our other ike could not give his submission earlier on you know but um Nevertheless, let's move on. Uh, Mr. Ike, it's good to have you on the show, sir. Good evening to you, sir. Thank you very much. Please uh, talk God, to us. God bless you, my brother Elvis. How are you doing? Um, I'm very fine, sir. Thank you, sir. Happy to be happy to be here again. Even though I'm, I'm, I'm in the office, I'm working, but uh, I squeezed this time around. I was calling before. You know, I think a lot of people were calling, so. Um, oh. I had a little time now to me to join. I only want to talk about uh, because what really attracted me was the discussion about Soludo and Anambra State and the road that was done. You know, um, you know. Let me tell you, it is uh, what is catching up with Soludo is nemesis. The Bible said, "Touch not my anointed; do my prophet no harm." Anybody that is pursuing Peter will be for nothing. You will, you will continue to fall, and you will continue to fall, and you will continue to fall. Um, I think that before we begin to talk about this, this is the Nigeria we are, like uh, when we were talking about the issue of our the chairman of Labour Party. Brother Evans used to ask, why is it difficult that people cannot resign from an office? I think if it is in a in a in a in a, in a organized society, the commissioner of works and the director of engineering in the ministry of, in the in the ministry of works and the man that is in charge of statistics, before we even begin to talk about it, they should have resigned even since yesterday. Because I don't think that the man who is the commissioner of works is not an engineer. It's only in Nigeria you will give a, a teacher to become a, 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 a commissioner of works or minister of works. So I think that in that in that ministry, a lot of people should have been fired by today. But this is Nigeria for you. But I am happy. Because why I'm happy is that I already know that Soludo is going to be a one-time governor in Anambra State. Because he has proven it so in so many ways that this is what his mission in Anambra State is to, is to make sure that he is a stumbling block to Pitobi. But the man that you are trying to put his stumbling, he has gone far ahead of you already. 
you know so i think that this is this is a practical example of what his administration has become you know um, a lot of people who are in, on the ground has always said that this man they only speak very big grammar that they only hear only his big grammar but they don't see anything he's doing and i think it should be shameful for for this man that this thing is coming from his administration saludo you know because this 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 is on this is when I saw this this morning, you know, really, really, I, I was wondering, I said, is, is this supposed to be true? With all this noise that this man is making, with all this intellectual that he has himself, he's supposed to have surrounded himself with the people who know the job. You know, so I think that this man um, is a one-time governor in Anambra State. And there is nothing that is going to save him from not being one-time governor. In as much as your, your aim and objective is to pursue Mr. Peter Obi, who led a legacy for you and others to follow in Anambra State. But all of you are busy trying to make his political aspiration to become difficult, but forgetting that power belongs to God. You can only delay somebody, but you cannot deny because everything that has been destined by God, you can only take time, but it shall come to pass. Man has a limited power, you know. So I think that I am happy with what I saw concerning the road because this is already a campaign for him already that he know that he's not coming back in Anambra State. And quote me, I am telling you, Soludo will, he can never come back as governor of Anambra State. He's a one-time governor, you know. So I think that uh, my brother, my brother CM, um, I, I was I was hearing him when he was talking about Soludo. You know, I was surprised that, you know, he was trying to, you know, put it in a mild way that would be able to understand that Soludo is doing something. I think that we should be able to call a spade a spade. This man has insulted everybody because of Mr. Peter Obi, insulted the integrity and the intellect of the Igbos because of Mr. Peter Obi, you know. But I think that, you know, like I said, Mr. Peter Obi is a man on a mission. You know, he go depend them, he go the sweet us. You know, people who don't want him in the political sphere of Nigeria, you will continue to see, like I said the other day, you will continue to see Mr. Peter Obi from 1927. Peter Obi is not stopping anybody to do what he's doing. Even you that are in government, you have more power, you have more resources to do what he's doing. But no, you're only busy because it is Peter Obi. Like he said, that this is not the campaign time. If we were doing campaign, we would have said, well, he's making campaign. There is no more election. There is no more campaign. So he's doing what he knows that he loves doing. You know, so I think that uh, uh, those who, some of my brother who spoke when I was listening, the engineers and those who are in this field, I think I was very happy with their explanation. It's like you, brother Elvis. You know, in Nigeria, most of the time, when you want to build a house, people are, most people are not afraid to buy block that is already made because sometimes the sand is greater than the, the cement. So most people who build their houses now, they prefer to you know, do the block themselves to make sure that the block is solid. You know? so, but I cannot really understand you know, what, what kind of construction and the engineer who did this. You know, these are the kind of what the politicians do. Um, they cover the road without anything and at the end of the day they will do the campaign and tell you that they had so many roads you 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 can imagine last month he confirmed and accepted that yes he said he's not going to do the road in a place where because the the, the house members are in opposition and he he did it possibly that the man joined the Abga and when the man joined up Abga he went to tie the road this is this is the kind of a man that is really in a state in Anambra state you know the man who's supposed to be the governor of all, but because he's the other, the, the man from the House of Assemblies from the other, you know, opposition party said they are not going to do it. And he was proud to, 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 to repeat it and say, yes, he said that on a national newspaper. This is a governor of a state. This is, this is the kind of people you have with all the intellectual, with all these studies, with all his academic acclaim that he has, you know, he has acquired in this world. Look at what a governor of a state is saying. You know, um, so it is sad and, you know, it is very, it is very, very sad. But for the people that are defending Soludo, listen, 
Don't defend Soludo because he's going to be a one-time governor. It doesn't matter what he wants to do. He's already written it. You know, it is already written in heaven and the earth. He will only be one-time governor. Because when you pursue a man who has done nothing to you, when the forces will be coming after you, you will not know where they will be coming from. They will be coming from east, west, north, and south, heaven and the earth, you know, to mobilize every forces to fight you. And I think he has put himself in that position that is going to become a one-time governor in Anambra State, you know. So um, for the for the man who won election in Senegal, you know, I'm proud for the people of Senegal for their for their decision to pick a new president. And I also I want to thank the you know the judiciary in Senegal and also also no matter what they, they are going president because. If you have decided that he's going to do something else, you know, even though, if, you know, some of African leaders can, they don't care, they can kill everybody in their, in their place in order to retain power. So in, in one word, or other, I give him credit for, you know, at the end of the day, when the pressure came, he decided to organize this election. And as the result came in, he, just, he considered and congratulated the young man who won election. So I think, uh, like Sister Rita said here, you know, Nigeria, giant of Africa, you know, giant for nothing. The common election we could not conduct, you know. So, I mean, this is a very big lesson. Ghana has been doing it. We have been, Ghana has become a model. And Senegal, again, is proving it to, you know, for Nigeria to see how election can be conducted. People, 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 people voted. And you can see the joy in the street of Senegal, Dakar, you know, because who they choose is who won the election. So I'm really happy for the people of Senegal. And I think that, uh, you know, like those who have spoken before, that, um, you know, uh, people should rally him and support him as long as you are fighting for the good of your people. The developed countries will always come after you. But if the people is with him, they cannot do anything. So I think that is a very big blessing for Nigeria, for the Nigerian judiciary and the INEC and the people in power that be that believe that politics is, you know, a matter of life and death. So really, my brother, I came in because of Saluda. I think that I am one of the happiest man today because this, these people, these are the people who claim that Mr. Peter B doesn't know what he did. You know, who want to destroy the legacy of an innocent right. man Thank who you, gave his life for an Ambra state. So it, it, it was a good thing to happen. Thank you, my brother. Thank you very much, Mr. I. God bless you, sir. Uh, uh, Mr. I, thanks for calling in. Uh, please talk to us, sir. I, I don't know what happened to your network. I don't know, too. I don't know, too. But because I have limited time to make calls, so I'll just take one thing. Um, you see, I was listening to the governor of Kaduna State. From the very first day this thing happened, I, I, I called here to say the man kept using Inshallah by the grace of God, inshallah, by the grace of God. That's not a sign of somebody that wants to walk. Now, the children are out. He kept gaslighting everybody that tried to know how the thing happened. He said, oh, what is most important is that ch our children are here. They are in high spirits. How could children that were kidnapped be in high spirits? They were in high spirits. So the, the government had time to make clothes, make uniform for these people, and they told us that they rescued them. I beg, Mr. Raja, watch. I know Thank, you, okay, Bye. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. All right. I uh, appreciate every one of you. Callers, we are done with you for today. Uh, okay. Everyone on the panel have given their submission. We need to have our final submission right now. But before that, I would like to quickly appreciate every one of you right there uh, uh, watching us and those of you on the comment section as well. Thank you, Ray Aboa. Thank you, Mati Mushi, Madam Iris Finest. Thank you very much, Gao and Lele. Appreciate you all. Talk by all. Thank you. Thank you, man. Wonderful people. Just Blue Shell. Thank you very much. Uh, and I can see uh, oh, again, Demia. Thank you very much. And uh, every one of you right there. May God bless you all. Okay, let me call on the first person that came into the panel today, which is Agatun. Agatun, please give us your final submission for me, sir. Yeah, thanks. Um, I would like to touch on the uh, Biden's um, chief that, um, that he claimed that escaped. Okay, I just believe that we've not heard um of the last of the thing uh, of the of the whole saga and i believe he's going to talk and um 
it's going to really um, implicate and expose a lot of people. But do they care? They don't, they don't give a toss. Because this Tinubu one is a gang. They're just shameless bunch of um, hapless criminals. So he's he's still going to talk. I know he was, he's a bit shaking. So all that thing that they're saying that they have put out um, um, thing uh, through Interpol, it's all bullshit. People came for talks with you and you kidnapped them. They were kidnapped. It, it wasn't, they, they didn't do it legally. They were kidnapped, you know. They came willingly to sort out the stuff and explain some and and try to um uh, try to find the best way forward. The Nigerian government kidnapped them. So what are we talking about? So let's just get uh, things. You see, it's all about propaganda. They will lie and they twist half truths and all that just to deceive uh, people that are not very uh, well informed. And um, what else? Yeah, the kidnapping again. I'm just tired of this, you know, the, this, some of these northerners, I, I don't want to say all northerners because there are some good northerners. Some of these northerners have uh, taken us as a fool. I don't think there was any, any, any kidnap in the first place. You could even tell from the uh, body language of the, uh, of those kids, if you look at them very well, uh, there, there's no sign of, um, of, uh, of trauma, you know, emotional trauma that is not physical trauma. So I don't think, I don't believe there's any kidnap. And they, even, they can't even get the figures right. Not that they missed it by, say, 10 or 15, but a whopping 100. So are they now padding the number of people that have been kidnapped so that they can um, uh, they can steal money? They're telling us, he's thanking Balatinovo, thanking him for what? And Balatinovo says that he will not pay. But obviously, it's, it's very, very clear to us that uh, uh, the, the, the so-called ransom you know, um, was paid, but there was no kidnap that I can say. And this is not this is not the la we've not seen the the last of this um, sort of um, um, enterprise. So maybe they want to use kidnapping as a business to improve the economy. I do not know. So um, yeah, and um, for Peter Obi, uh, we saw when I keep, when I've kept saying even before all these um, thing. Um, uh, came up or uh, the 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 um the deliberation whether he should leave or not i even been saying even from dr damages about two months ago two nigeria can uh can testify to that in fact about three months ago when i saw as things were panning out i said listen it's best this man get get out get out of this party and uh, sort out something start from somewhere because it's peter obi's um personality and the integrity that gave um um, labor is soul and is uh, credibility. So it, it seems that the that party is messed up. He should he should just go and uh, sort out some. But I'm sure um, he's not a foolish man. Um, he's a very very smart guy. And um, and if you guys notice, the VP uh, Dati has not been saying much. So I I believe there's something cooking. And um, we'll um, we'll get to know um, in no distant time. We'll get to know what's going on. So thank you very much for this evening. Thanks for the opportunity. To thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Right. Thank you, Agatun, for your time with us and for your uh, submission as well. Okay, let me quickly move on to the second person on the panel, which is uh, Mr. Jonathan. Mr. Jonathan, sir, if you are if you are there, please give us your final submission for minutes. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Elvis. Uh, thanks to everyone. Uh, let me just um, start from where uh, Mr. Toon ended. You know, <clears throat> uh, on the issue of uh, kid the kidnapping and kidnappers, you know, kidnapping is a business in Nigeria. It is a business. You know, <clears throat> this is what I have to say to the government of Nigeria. You know what? You know that ransom was paid. And you know why we cannot believe you that you did not pay ransom. For me as a person, and I know there are millions of Nigerians like me also, as I always say, they have the same position, that ransom was paid. And we cannot believe you saying otherwise. Kidnappers, was none of them was arrested. None of them was paid in a situation like this. So you are just telling Nigerians that the kidnappers are very, very kind 
And in their good art of benevolence, they just release the children. That's what we want Nigerians to believe. And that's why we cannot believe. It was a lie. Ransom was paid. Kidnapping is a business. I bet you just get ready for the next round. Just get ready for the next round. You see? I want to, you know, quickly say, you know, end of this because of time. I just want to mention this briefly, bring it out. What is happening now? This budget padding. And I was glad when you presented it earlier today about, you know, Aquabio, you know, padded $90 billion just for himself, for his own constituency. You know, that's what they will call it, for his own constituency. They are going the extra mile now. And you see, that is why the video of that scene that you showed couldn't have come at the right time. Nigerians, please, if I have to beg, Nigerians, please, you got to do the right thing. You got to take your country back. They are, they, you know, they are going the, the level they are going now. Do you believe now, or can you believe that the Tinubu administration, Mr. Tinubu himself, have asked the National Assembly, the Senate to be precise, to give him the power to continue to spend Buhari's budget. Can you imagine that? Just take that. Just let it sink in. Ow! Anywhere in the world. And they are about to do it. They want to sign it. In other words, reenact it. Make it a law again. You know, the budget is a law. Validity one year. At the end of that one year, that law ends. It terminates. Now they want to go back to start spending the money, the budget of 2023, that they want Buari, they want the pass for Buari. They to give him another 90 days or 120 days so that they can dip their hands into money again. So that tells you you need to add one to one together. That that budget that they pass, the one that they passed, this 28 trillion was not enough for them. They wanted to do more. They needed more money that they can lay their hands on. And the shortest cut is to go back to 2023 budget. So this one now they will spend it. They will also spend addition. So just divide 2023. Buari's last budget divided by four. One quarter of it, they want to spend it again. <laughs> it's terrible. When Nigerians are ready, they will take back their country. There is no, there is, there is no gain saying about this. There is no any other way you are going to put this. It is high time to stop this lunatics. It is high time. This is, this, this, there is just no any other way because these people are so emboldened. They are, they are now they are so careless. They don't give a damn. Fortunately. This is where this is where we find ourselves. But at least just to let them know, we know, Nigerians know, the world knows, and the world is watching. Mr. Elvis, thank you very much. I really appreciate the opportunity for today. Thanks. Thank you. God bless you, sir. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, let me quickly move on to the next person, which is uh, to Niger. Uh, please give us your final submission for me, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Ninja Watch. Um, I think I must say there has been some quality submissions today, and I don't say that. I think I've never said that, actually. Um, even if sometimes the points appear, um, you know, in opposition to each other, they are actually high-level um, conversations we've had, though it did try to degenerate sometimes into regional stuff. That said, um, when the, I saw the um, children that were rescued from this... Um, kidnappers and uh, I noticed that they all had a shave of their head it reminds me of what the um, Burkina Faso leader did recently he passed a law for the schools to stop shaving their children's hairs because it's a pass is a hand down from colonial colonization 
that we were meant to be a form of humiliation where they cut our hair to make us look like uh, basically a fodder that they can use for their um, products and um so that is that that's what i noticed and i when i looked at our military looked at the way they were all you know you look at the military here in your mind you, you picture um these uh, bloody civilian mentality and you see the way they treat their people you can see why we have a problem and i'm really happy with what the senegalese leader is doing now and with any luck and uh, with support obviously this is not not even luck i won't uh, let me move away from luck or hope with due support from the African continent and its people, we are going to start seeing an awakening there too. Because we have to truly wake up to what has happened to us. And we've had a long time to deal with the trauma of what has happened to us in the past. We should be getting out of it now. And I've, you know, my, my position is that there is an opening in the next five, 10 years, maybe even if we are lucky 15 years, and we have to take advantage of it. And the opening is becoming more and more obvious every day. That a Pan-Africanist leader is at, went to an election and won it in Africa tells you that the signs are pointing in the right direction. For like it was in the 60s and 70s. Let's not make a mistake. It did happen once, and we squandered it, and we shouldn't squander it again. And uh, I did like um, um, Rita's submission on the Senegalese leader um, and how it reflects on the African Union and all the rest of it. I'm not sure whether it would be possible to tear down the entire system that we have now to and start all over again. That might take too long. I would say they should purge the system. After all, that is what the leader has just done in Senegal. You can purge the system and replace them with uh, the ideal candidates that we want in place. And uh, in, and people that are thinking that the, um, Tinubu is inevitable in 2027, I really beg the rethink that because nothing is inevitable you can events can give you the strength you need to kick him out of office it's always possible and um you just never know because they've been in office for a very long time apc has been in office for all you know naira will be at the this in three thousand naira and people will be will, they will be pulling their hair out and Tinubu will be vulnerable if you're not ready now you will not have a chance then and i think we should always be forward leaning and looking for to pressure these people to do the right thing while they are in office and if they are not doing the right thing to get them out of office when we get the chance because we cannot afford to be passing this problem down and down and down to the next generation and we can't do that um so regarding the binance um, uh, um case i think um, tone said something about him being kidnapped uh, it's not fair that, that when we when we arrest people we call it kidnapping i think they should be arrested if if they have a, a questions to answer they deserve to be arrested you know and they, nobody should be able to take advantage of nigeria just get away with it like that we have to start these leaders i don't even know what gave them the impetus to do what they did but if somebody amongst them is doing the right thing so be it arrest whoever you need to arrest and get them to be questioned because we know all these operators in nigeria they know nigeria very well they know nigeria is corrupt they are here to take advantage of us that you hear it i think uh, that was played on the news where the cnn people is it's a flippant statement that we are corrupt people we are a backwater that they can come and take advantage of and if this have robbed us of billions of dollars that's a lot of money and we have to hold them accountable at least to deter the next ones that are going to be coming down the line I will leave it at that. Thank you very much. All right. Uh, I'll get to Niger. Thank you very much. And I appreciate you for acknowledging the wonderful submission from our fellow uh, panelists today. Thank you. And I uh, appreciate you all. Okay. Let's move on to our guy, CBD, if you are still with us. Sir. I'm not sure if CBD is still with us. Okay. It's not on the screen anymore. Okay. Let me move on to the next person quickly. Uh, Black Panther. Uh, please give us your final submission for me, sir. Then I'll come to my director. Okay, Black Panther, you're not available as well. Oh, we lost you, Black Panther, fortunately. Okay, uh, let me move on to my director. My director, please give us your final submission for me, Thank you. Yes, thank you very much. I also like to say thank you to Black Panther for his submission. Um, yes, um, we should be talking about the amendment of the electoral law. And then um, there's something, this. Uh, publication that you put out there i don't know the man's name he said um nigeria needs uh, a new constitution not the uh, not an amended one and i think that's what tony naji was has been saying all along 
we need to start afresh. We need to start from point A. And because the one that is present now was done by the guys in the barracks, right? Uh, within, with the uh, collaboration of the caliphate to favor them. So Nigeria needs a new constitution. And when we get there, everything transcends down to every institution existing in Nigeria today. We do not have strong institutions. And when we don't have strong institutions, no matter how how many beavers or how many the amount of technology that we impute into our electoral system is not going to work because we do not have strong institutions, especially the judiciary, even the INEC itself. The INEC itself, who appoints the chairman is the president. That's like conflict of interest. If you if the president appoints you as the chairman of a an institution that would affect the entire nation, the entire nation's decisions or the electorate's decisions, definitely it should not be in favor of the electorate. It, it will, the result will be in favor of the person who elected him into office or rather who placed him into office. So that's what Yakubu is playing to the tune of the caliphate and the man from Bodilon. So um, yeah, and to get that institution, we have to start from scratch. We have to, we have to start with uh, changing the constitution. But how that would happen, I have no idea. But I can guarantee you, by the ballot, it's not going to work. And I want to say something finally about um, the Labour Party and the NLC relationship. Uh, Mr. Lossi Nosage has given us the privilege of telling us that it was it started, I think, in 1950. That's what he said. And um, now, you know, we're having all this uh, brouhaha you know, this topsy-turvy arguments back and forth. I think all this happened as a result of the fact that um, Mr. Abure um, hasn't proven himself to be a good leader or has, pr has proven to us that he's not worthy to be the chairman of the Labour Congress. I'm not saying this with any apology because it's what I'm seeing. It's not allegedly, it's what I'm seeing. Because if you have a reputation to keep, I've said it before, you should have resigned immediately. Take a cue from Peter de Rock Obi. He said, if you find anything that me or my family did against the people of Nigeria in any form or even to Anambra State, I will stop campaigning. Now, if the leader of the party is saying that, it's expected that the chairman, with all these allegations flying left, yeah, it's still an allegation because we have we are yet to wait for the final result of the auditors, you know. You know, if all these allegations is meted out against you, I mean, these are like serious allegations, disgraceful allegations. The honorable thing to do, if you had some sense of dignity at all or respect for your name or even the even the institution of the Labour Party or even Peter Obi or even for, let's say for Nigeria, forget about all these other entities, for Nigeria's sake, or even for the sake, for the sake of me, my family name, my integrity, you step down. Nigerian leaders, I don't want to even call them leaders, but you know, if I use the word leaders, I, I think, you know, people would probably get it more. But people who represent institutions, for example, Julius Aburi representing the Labour Party, many of them, no matter their age or experience, there's one thing that is very common among them. They don't understand what it is to have integrity. They don't understand what it is really and truly, what it is to leave the ovation, wide, leave the stage where the ovation is loudest. They don't understand that. They feel holding on to the rope means that you are strong. Holding on to the rope means that you have integrity. Holding on to the rope means that I am, I am, I am not weak or, or, you know, it's not about the people, it's about me. Yes, I'm a strong guy, I'm a strong man. And I don't care who gets burned along the way. They don't, they don't get that. And I don't expect the younger generations to even get it, to understand that there are certain things, there are certain laws, there are certain um, characters that you need to have. When somebody accuses you of something very detrimental that affects your name, affects an institution, affects your integrity, you step aside and give people the chance to prove yourself. Not hanging in, arguing, trying to cover up, and then what is the result? What is the result? Look at the Labour Party today. If not, Peter will be... I mean, the Labour Party is as good as... Uh, what is it called? Accord. That was maybe Accord was even higher self than Labour Party. 
you know, so, you know, Joseph, you have just, if you listen to me, sir, or anybody of you who know him, this is what I'm saying. You refuse to resign, and this is the result. At the end of the day, I can tell you, anywhere your name is mentioned now, whether you are the chairman of the Labour Party, or you are, you are chairman or whatever from whatever institution or entity, you're, you don't have a good name anymore. Let me use simple language. Your name don't spoil, Oga. And anybody that's even answering that name, Abure now. People will look at them twice and ask you, are you related to that man? You don't spoil it, sir. You, you don't spoil them. You don't spoil them. I'm so disappointed. You came into this show and even I expressed myself about your leadership skills and, you know, you just proved me right. You, you just proved it. You just even proved the uh, native doctor right, sort of. And I, I, I rather, but you just proved it, man. You just, you just pour your name, okay? You just pour everything. It is for Peter Obi's name because we are Labour Party because of Peter. I am, I supported Peter. I, your Labour because Peter Obi is under the Labour Party. That's what I'm supporting. I'm not a, a Labour Party uh, a member of any sort. And uh, you know, the Labour Party know very well that if Peter Obi leaves the Labour Party, and if he leaves, in fact, the Labour Party will be like um, I don't know what to use, somebody that has been zapped. Maybe due to the nuclear reaction, you just shrink. Labour Party will shrink. Take it or leave it. Thank you, Mr. Elvis. All right, uh, Madam Rita, thank you very much uh, for your submission and your time with us today. Yes, I, I totally agree with you. It's very painful, but I'm not sure it has got into that. Anybody that bear, that bear the name of Abori. <laughs> it has Mr. Elvis, anybody that bear the name of Basaki, they will ask you. It always raises an eyebrow. Because one person has chosen to spoil the name because they have some good or masterpieces out there. It's the same thing. That's why it's integrity, character. Anybody answering Obi today? The question, are you from Anambra? Are you related to Peter Obi? That's, that's it. That's what we're talking about. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank so you very much, man. Thank you. Yeah, great. It's great. That's the better uh, definition for it. But meanwhile, uh, let me call on uh, Mr. Ike is not with us, he's not there on the seats. So I'll move on to the next person, which is NCBD. NCBD, please give us your final submission. Four minutes, which uh, the last person on the panel will be Black Panther. Yes, uh, thank you so much. Um, it has been you, a very uh, in, uh, impactful and, uh, you know, high quality uh, session as always. Or, you know, most of the time. Yeah. So, well, um, uh, I think I would just say this about, uh, because the other time I didn't say anything about this Senegal um, uh, guy. And I feel like um, yeah, something like that can only happen in Nigeria if we have people that are truly patriotic, that truly love the country, you know, because uh, unfortunately, uh, what we have is people that are just trying to um, we have a lot of people, I won't say everybody or every politician, but we know the overwhelming majority of these guys are just um, looking for their pockets and uh, they don't even have any space in their brain or in their thinking capacity for patriotism and fighting for their people. You see, they don't even care about their people, you know. So it's quite unfortunate uh, other countries are rising up uh, while uh, many of our own people are still uh, looking for how they will carry 2 billion, 10 billion, you know, all these amounts. We don't know where they are taking it to. The one that Abacha took, they are still recovering it till today, you know. So from different places in Europe. And that's just the ones that they decide to show us. So, because I'm sure there are others that... Uh, uh, they are just like let those ones go. So once in a while they release another. In the next administration, they will release another uh, uh, ten billion that uh, is part of the loot. So it's quite unfortunate that uh, we don't have um, as much revolutionary um, leaders as we should. And even when we have the voice of these other wicked guys, will suppress it because it's just very. Uh, you know, there are just so many. And like what someone said about the kidnapping, you know, um, uh, it's amazing, you know, how the 
the claim that they have recovered, you know, they, they, they rescued these uh, children. And uh, is there any report on what they did to the kidnappers? Or is just the same negotiation? You know, okay, they are claiming now that they didn't uh, pay any money. So what, where are the kidnappers? What happens to them? So these guys are just permanent people there to make deals, uh, go somewhere, carry hundreds of people. Then they give, then all of a sudden they have released, which we know that they cannot release for nothing. So it's quite unfortunate that this thing is happening inside the government. And uh, this is one of the reasons why some people like us, as much as we are still wishing and hoping that Nigeria will be better, this is one of the reasons why we cannot condemn people that are calling for a uh, peaceful um, exit of Nigeria. Because, uh, uh, you know, some these kind of things will make you start thinking that is there any hope? Is there any need? What's the point? You know, for all this, uh, we must stay together. So um, as much as me, I'm also for it go better. Or I'm still for there. I you know I'm for that ideology, but at the same time, we cannot condemn these people that uh, feel like there's no other hope because uh, the people who are in charge, they are not making mm. it better. You know, so they are not making it any better. They are not giving us any 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 assurance. So we are just hoping against hope. You know what they mean by hoping against hope that's what we are doing right now to be honest and uh, hopefully against hope uh, things will change thank you senegal is thank you sir thank you. Sign now. Sign now. sorry party yeah, senegal is a very hopeful sign that some change is possible senegal, exactly. what's the, yes what's the, business, what's the link with senegal and nigeria now the president almost cancelled the election and moved it to December. They they pushed him back and uh, the whole thing turned around. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, oh, guys, thank you very much. Uh, yes, for me, I'm very hopeful that Nigeria will be better in our time. You know, so let's continue to do what we are doing. Some of you might think that, oh, we are talking or what we are doing and all that. Like I've said so many times on this platform, if uh, BBC, CNN, Arise TV, Channel TV, uh, and many other um, mainstream media, if they are doing something different, let us know. All they do is talk and bring people to the platform, uh, prominent and uh, individuals, politicians to the platform and ask them questions. If I don't even give them time to talk and say, okay, thank you, time is up, bye. That's all, that's all they're doing. So the talking is very, very important. And the, the, the power of social media, don't, 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 don't look down on it. So let's continue to do what we are doing. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Let's be hopeful. Nigeria will be better in our time. I'm very, very sure Nigeria will be better in our time. Okay, I would like to call on. I didn't know that Augustine is still with us, so to be honest. Eh? But, but Augustine, I'll keep you for, for the last, last place. Let uh, Black Panther finish, then I'll come to you. Black Panther, Black Panther, are you still with us? Okay, okay you are here. Give yeah, us some final submission, sir. Please. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Nigeria Watch. I thank everybody. I thank Madarita. I thank you for that good. Uh, uh, what you, what your, your speech, what you made, and I want to say something here too, that, like the pro, the product of the constitution we have now, is showing in our politics. The constitution we have now, the product, is what we are seeing. We cannot see anything less, lesser than what the constitution has given unto us. Your constitution has not given independence to any state. Your constitution did not give independence to any structure. Everybody is up to Asu Rock for anything. Senegal the guy is not a pan-africanist uh black Pata, your voice go down and on on down and on and this have been going on for the past 70 years now and you still never sorted it out can you hear me better now we can hear you but your voice will go down and come back can't go down so i hope it's not going to happen can you hear me better now okay Yes, 
Black Panther, you are not talking. You know, you mute yourself. Okay, you came back again. Okay, please go ahead. Unmute yourself, sir. Can I go ahead? Yes, yes. Okay. I want to say here, those of us that are saying, oh, we can, we can continue with what we have, this blah, blah, blah. I want to say it clearly here now that the president you have now was one of the advocates that have been advocating for a new constitution. All the activists that you see that are keeping short, they have been one of the advocates for a new constitution. They have also been advocating for a new electoral law. We got it, but we didn't look into the nitty gritty of that law that was given to us. We were just elated. Yes, we didn't bother to care. We just elected, oh, beavers be used. We didn't look at the clause in it. And I thank God today that Senegal, the 44 year old boy, the 44 year old man, great man, he might not be a Africanist, but it's somebody like Peter Obi that means well for his country. He means well for his country and he wants to do well for his country. He wants his country to be self-sufficient. He wants his country's currency to be dictated by them and not by France. So he's taking his country out of the hands of the colonial uh, man manipulation of the French, French Republic. Now, the Senegalese constitution created independent to the judiciary. But yours is subjected. There's a clause there. And that clause, the, 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 the so-called Asorok Jontas have been using it to manipulate the entire political scene in Nigeria. That is why we keep on advocating. That is why we keep on, you know, trying to give a headway where we can, where Nigeria can pass. Okay, if we don't want the constitution now, okay, let's go for the um, expunging, expunging that clause in that electoral law. Let's take that manual approach towards the election. Let's take it out and let's use only the beavers. When the beavers was done, when it was given to us, they were saying no network. You know, they were arguing no network. But what happened? They now, because all of us argued it, they now put a clause there. In case the network fail, we'll use manual. My brother, let us think. Let us, let us all of us think and know what we want. And let us systematically maneuver this, this let the system be favorable let the system go with us so that we can forge ahead let us know what we want let us systematically approach things individual in, in a very systematic way and to the people that were that were to our people that were kidnapped our children that were kidnapped that was no kidnap that was an arrangement and to the uh, binance people that binance people is like this Whenever we are going going this way, the Nigerian government will always create one information, put one information out there so that we can follow. How can somebody you put under arrest escape under arrest? How? Please, how? We have DSS. DSS should come out and tell us how. NSA should come out and tell us how. So when people come here to say, oh, they escaped, they did not escape. They tell them, oh, guy, go. We just they do blah blah. So we'll create if a, 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 an avenue more, more could they talk, talk towards that place. What you should be talking now, the thing that will be piling pressure on them now is that we should set up a new electoral law. Let us uh, let us look at our electoral law again. Let us expunge manual stuff out of our electoral law. Then we can get set to a 75% for a new election. Let us see how they will maneuver it and lock up the, 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 the entire system and said the beaver did not work. Let us see how they will do it. But one thing I know for Nigeria to work, let us have our options. Let us, the option I'm giving, one, the beavers must stand on his own, no manual. 
two, the constitution must be reviewed. If we use the beaver to put in a good government that will look into the constitution so that all of us can sit down and behave like African and galvanize our own constitution, what we want, African constitution. The first time Nigeria will sit, let us break that history. Let that history be made. Any of you that is saying, oh, we cannot start all over again, you are just joking. If you cannot start, let's continue with this system. We are ready to continue. We will see, we'll be looking until they choke us. We cannot breathe again. Then you will not come to our own reality that we need a new constitution. Thank you, Mr. Nigeria Watch. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, my that brother. Um, okay, um, yeah, yeah. Mr. Iris, yes, just before, please, Mr. Mr. just before uh, Dr. CM, you know, com, com, comes on board, um, I just want okay. to kind of, um, you know, bring this out. This uh, oh, from uh, what uh, from, from what uh, Black Panther said regarding the electoral law, the beavers. You see, the beavers. We must be very careful. It is compute. It is it is technology, and it can still be manipulated. The focus should be on election at the polling units. Let's just, that's what we should be fighting for. That elections at the polling unit, once election at the polling unit is counted, it is done and dusted. That is, the, that is it. We don't, you know, carrying it from the look, from the election, from the, from the election, the polling unit, to the world, to the local government, that's where everything is messed up. So this thing, they, we must get it right now. Whether they like it or not, Nigeria must get this election right for crying out loud. This is this is this is this is too disgraceful, damaging to the country. We must get it right. Once people line up, they vote, vote counted. What are you waiting for again? What are you vetting again? It has been people have voted, it okay. has been counted. Why are you taking it to the to the local government again? We don't need that. Everybody can know the result. Everyone, all of us can sit down in our room, in our comfortable room, and we can know the result because you can call Mr. A, Mr. A can call B, C, D. Everybody can call. We can collate our result ourselves. All we just need to do is just for them a body called the Electoral Commission to announce it officially. Not all this manipulation, you know, they will still have a way. These people are too, just as we're discussing now, they are also discussing okay. how they are going to circumvent whatever we come up with. So we must get it right. There is no going back. This 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 thing must is, is it a cause? Is it a cause on the nation Nigeria that's ordinary election? We can't get it right. Senegal just voted. As simple as that. Same day, election result was announced. Is it a cause on Nigeria that they cannot organize election, free and fair election? Something, something must be done on this. Thank you very much, Mr. Elvis. I appreciate it's not, it's not a cause. It's, it's, it's not a cause. It's a deliberate act. It's corruption. It's not a cause. It's corruption. It's a deliberate act. They know what they're doing. That's it. Um. Augustine, last person on the panel. Okay. Give us your final submission, sir. Four minutes. Thank you, sir. Okay. So four minutes. Okay. Thank you. Um, thank you, everybody. When my final submission, I think we've really covered everything. But let me recap on what really we debated earlier today quickly. The video I brought that was that showed a caterpillar so spraying cement on the on the on the ground on the road was to say because I've seen it done. Not that I'm not thinking, I'm not saying that is the best practice, but I'm just saying with ref, with with respect to the former video they showed, people were saying, ah, where has this? I've never seen this thing done. I said, I've seen it. I wish I had that video that day. That's why I brought the one of uh, Bab Julius Berger, just to, for people to say there has, it has been, it has been done somewhere. Whether it is the best or not, it's not for me to judge. I'm not an engineer, but I've seen it done. Now, the second video about the bad road, when I saw it, I also showed a sign of outrage. Not until I saw this follow-up with the commissioner saying that they've not finished that route. They're still working on it. It's just that something happened overnight. It's done before they did it. So this is my point of view. This is where I stand. 
I'm not saying that is the best or this, but I, be, but like I'm saying, that road is still under construction. It has not been finished. It hasn't. It's still being constructed because the construction of it is still not yet asphalted. They are doing it gradually. Maybe rain just came. And to me, I'm prepared to give anybody the benefit of the doubt. If I give you job, and, they, and we agree on a time frame, until that time frame passes. You have no business, even scolding me or coming to tell me. Until the time frame passes, I hand over the final product, then you can then say something. But as long as I'm still within the time frame, I haven't finished, you don't need to, even if you hear something happen there, you can only talk, but you can't use it to judge me. That's one. And secondly, it has never happened before, like I said. Not that I'm they're not defending anybody, but I'm just wanting people to understand my viewpoint. If you want to quote me, say yes that I've seen where they are pouring cement on a, on a road as part of stabilization. Ordinary cement, dust, pouring it there. I've seen it and I've showed a video. Then on the, on the road that's spoiled, my contention is the contractor said he hasn't finished it and that's what they're explaining, but the road bad, it is bad. And that is not, it's only a small section. Ordinarily, they should have shown the entire stretch of the road, about two something kilometers, and let people judge for themselves. But because of that, I know people have written a lot of things on the comment section. I'm not really bothered because I know where I stand. So if you can understand me and quote me exactly this, I'm not making judgment. I'm only lifting something I saw. So it's like somebody quoting the Bible. You say the Exodus 14, 14, the Lord will fight for you. You only have to be still. That's all. It's not for me. Don't come. Just go there and lift it. If you see it that way, it's okay. So what I'm saying is I'm making reference. Only reference is my own. That is just what I did. But anybody can interpret what you want to. I don't, I'm free. I'm free. I don't, I'm not holding brief for anybody. Interpret what you want it. No, you are, you are not supporting um, Zuludu. You are not a spokesman. Of course I'm not. Of course thank I'm God. not. I, of, no, no. What is thank God? What, what do you mean by thank God? I'm, I'm, because I'm not, the, the people have tagged you already. Now that's why I'm saying uh, thank God. Exactly. So uh, that's why I'm, I'm not really bothered about because I, that's why I said I'm responsible for what I say, not for what the person understands. Since I've shown this, the person will say, okay, now at least somebody can say, I've seen where they are pouring cement or uh, cement uh, dust on the road. You can say you've seen it at the Aba. I don't know whether it ended up, if it will end up in another way. I've seen this, what I saw. So I, that's why I showed it. So to that extent, I don't really bother because I believe in reason. So let the person attack my reason for what I do, but not that uh, I'm holding brief. I'm not holding brief for anybody. I believe in balanced report. If anybody does that, if I get the facts, I know where to, to blame. So on that note, Niger Watch, thank you very much for the opportunity. We continue tomorrow. After all, it's for the good of all of us. So my criticism you have, is, I, don't, you have, I think- You have cleared yourself in the, pan of the no. panel. Uh, well, no, it's, be, it's because the judge, people like, the judge will not it's, say arise. No, is no, no. Is that this has been probably because of uh, you know the staccato of uh, this thing coming. I had my this thing, but I've been able. That's why I brought all those. I wasn't saying that is the best. I wasn't paid to do it. Even if I should be paid, I have to charge. And if I want to, but I'm not. I'm not that type of person. I'm only trying to say this. It will turn out that eventually it is the bad. But at least I said this is what I saw. So if you see it as B, good. If I see it as C, okay, just say that you saw it. Thank you, thank you, Niger Watch. Okay, um, thank you very much, everybody. Uh, we've come to the end of this broadcast. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you, every one of you that came into the panel. As for Garcia, uh, <laughs> the 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 aspect of paid or no paid, everybody know who you are now. So please, you know, nobody will ever go that area. You know, so we only. Uh, attack you for defending that that satanic uh uh construction by soludo that's all paid paid what people we, they, we, if they collect money from satanic no no mr niger watch yes niger watch you know you know talk and well Go he ahead. was not defending we want what he said it was logic he was trying to prove the statement of fact he brought forward last yesterday that he has seen that thing done like that so that was why all i right. threw a question to him 
Are you no longer yeah, the black man? Are you anyone having a go at him a moment ago? You just turned around again. See, no, 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 watch. no. I, I asked him a question. I asked him a question. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you ready? Let me ask him about Niger Watch now. Let me ask him about Niger Watch. Okay, ask him a question. Start now. Don't want to continue. Yeah, black man, are you finished talking now? Let me say something about Niger Watch. Niger Watch, I'm not saying. Don't mind him. Mm -hmm. I, I must say that you are very funny uh, with the way you presented this stuff. Yeah, I couldn't stop laugh, laughing, and uh, especially when CF came in, <laughs> you were just you were just repeating what I do like the way you try to hold people accountable. I, and, I think it's a good thing. <laughs> Yeah, you really stretched CM today. You stretched him to, to, to the limit. I did it. I, I was laughing CMK, on the back side. CMK of from the kitchen. I was hearing his name <laughs> from the kitchen. He ran. What did they call me for? <laughs> To be honest, that is what that is how you know that that is how you know transparent people. You know, in yes, they call the name Ecom. Satanic people, even though you go pull uh, the loudest noise for inside their window, they don't go come because they don't already know say this one, they know so yes, we call them he come. So it's a normal thing. One thing, listen. One thing you guys don't understand on this platform, we are family here, but none of us will support anything that is bad from any of oh. us. And I've used myself as an example so many times. If not me, please call me out. You know, uh, that is it. You know, there's nothing like, oh, now nah, because in Nigeria was this matter, more no, your talk would. No, 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 you are not helping me. You are not helping mm. me. As long as no, you are I've, I've called you out three times here now. I've called you out a few times here yes, and yeah, exactly. you're taking it and you know and that's good that's really mm -hmm. good and i like uh, that kind of uh, environment no, no to be yeah, honest that's you, 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 somebody, to be you see somebody like me i don't really worry so much about criticism because i always try to present maybe my reason may be weak out of so life. please <laughs> exactly if, if my if my reason is weak tell me this reason you are giving is not convincing it's okay that's not so i know rich but what I want him, you, you know what you don't like? Uh -huh. him, you know what I don't like? When yeah. somebody is not adding hatred to criticism, that's what I don't like. Uh, okay, yeah. If okay, you want no, to criticize I... me, and, you understand? Exactly, you know, yeah. some people who criticize you don't know, add hatred no, to it. They become no, a problem. Not, you know? You are not alone. The person you is know? not well uh, not well informed. I can say something and give you... No, one, some two, of them are informed. They just then, want to deliberately... Then, Make then, life difficult then, for you. Yes, yeah, somebody attacked me like yesterday that. because yeah. I was I was I was yeah. saying that Tuna yeah. was saying the truth. Let's go. They yeah. were all attacking me Maybe because they hate again. me. You know. They were transferring the hatred they had for me to you. That's <laughs> uh -huh. that was what they were doing yesterday. Now exactly, uh, that's what they were doing. You see, in my own case, if you tell me, that, that reason, that reason where you give number one, this it doesn't. It, don't, it doesn't wash well. I don't I don't take it. It's okay, but so far you can quote saying that so that's why I talk him. It's okay for me. Then if I don't I don't need to, but maybe you counter my reason okay. with him. Okay. Su Let me yes, say please. this so that we can, ra we can round up. Let me tell you why we have problem with these people. These people have never one day since Nigeria was created to build trust with the people. Okay. They have okay. never. Yeah, you see, so anything we they do, the <laughs> people already have doubt in it. <laughs> yes, but, because they, but, they, they have but, never prioritized but, trust. But Niger watch, Niger watch, them sorry. And... Niger watch, you know, today in Nigeria, east, west, north, south, mm. P2B, P2B. When P2B was in Anambra, hey, Jesus Christ, the finisher, mm, I'm telling you, they no given chance. Nothing, do, do you know the meaning of? Obi is an Igbo name for man. Adobe means a woman. Because if they speak law, they say that man Adobe now. What in a sabi? A sabi, what in it? In hand, it too tight. In hand, it too tight. Glue there in hand. Nothing with no. They instigated the. They teach them twice now. But now because people, I don't, they don't test Obi and not the one where they stand trial for four billion now. The one where in hand over. If they stand trial with EFC for four billion, people come say, so now the thing where people be do for us be this. We know even know say the man are very honest. That's why everybody turn. If go ask Fanambra, they don't even criticize Solu Dorf. They finish Pito B. They finish him. Nothing, every enter boss now. So 
gossip. Not be say it's thief money. They say, ah, the man too tight. Everything he put high reach. Everything. They have remain, problem. He still remain. He remain the best yeah. now amongst them. Exactly. No, no, anyway, no. Just to random. tell you, to tell, to tell you how people, to tell you, say sometimes when people see certain things, when they this people where they say, say people have been a darling, everybody just there. If you hot people have been a people go shout. Those people where they defend that nine and Ambra, they finish on that time way. They no give a chance everywhere. Even 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 Augustine, are you also aware that some people that have criticized him since the twenty twenty three presidential election, they already turning their back, <laughs> turning putting their car in the yeah. revival. Yeah, they are, Mr. They are Elvis. Him in Mr. Mr. Elvis, please, Mr. Elvis, okay. please, I send you a private message Mr. on your WhatsApp. Please check. It's a private message. Please. Okay, okay, no yeah, problem. Thank you. Thank you. you know, bro, people Mr. Ivy, I want, Ivy, I want to give one suggestion. I want to give one suggestion. The only the, the my own yeah. suggestion is like this. the only way we can continue to apply pressure in, in to these people is one economy, two, changing the political system. That is the two way we can send the message out so that any person, any right thinking man can judge. From the two points, are you put serious? Ground. When no, children no, just no. got kidnapped, no, you will say, Man, they stop kidnapping first, man. Jesus okay, Christ, okay, comes let's run let's dollars run every year. No, 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 security will let's come into up. other things now. Don't worry yourself. Okay, security is right, let's to continue to from where we said that himself. Mm, that's true. That's okay, true. let's they, continue they, from they, where we stop uh, tomorrow, my people. I appreciate okay. every one of you. Augustine, no worry, we'll continue tomorrow, I beg. Um, it's up already five hours. Remember, for the past one week, now, now so six hours. So, now sorry, Nigeria was, here. did you see that, did you hear that, I think a Rotimi guy, that top Nigerian, I think lawyer or something, he's saying that he's not going to join Labour Party now because of Labour Party is now like other parties. That's how much damage this Abure nonsense is causing to the Labour Party. Abure, of course, yes. Yes, I know, I know. That's one of that's what Madarita was saying just now. Yeah? You know, it, you know, greed, greed. Yeah, of course, so many that tomorrow, so tomorrow, now the election. To... Oh. Mm. Okay, no, the, 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 the election. The part of primary. Primary is now. No, no, primary. Not, be Wednesday. not be Wednesday. Not be no. Abu the election. Not be tomorrow. I think say the April. Right? No, yeah, I think say. No, you, you, no, you mean the convention? The yes, convention. yes. It doesn't. And now what thing create be that that everybody is fighting against now, now, now. Not be Wednesday tomorrow. Not be tomorrow be Wednesday. You know, suppose happen. I don't know when it be, but you know, suppose no, no, happen. I That's think, what we'll be saying I, now. I think, I think that prayer. I think that, maybe I, maybe I may be wrong. I, mean, I heard it was June. Um, mm, but, hey, uh, hey, yeah. or something like that. Yeah, I think something towards that. Yes, I, it's I supposed to be it's June, but if mm. Aburi wants to do it this month. Hey, hey. He he want to do a quickly. snappy, so he that it's quickly, room. yes. Hey, yes. Whoever is going to do it, the obedience are going to overrule him now. How is he going to escape? Uh, okay. uh, the member is not going to vote him. And one information is that, one information again that was that came out is that 75% of the chairman, state chairman, they were never elected, they were appointed. Uh -uh. Bye, okay, thank you. Yes, everybody. go check him. He did. He did. Then go check him. Thank you. Thank you. Yay. Let's round up tomorrow. We'll continue from where we stop. Thank you, Augustine. Thank you, everybody. Okay. Uh, we've come to the end of the broadcast. It's already five hours. I really need to end the show right now. I want to thank every one of you. I want everybody to understand that on this platform, we all come here every day to learn. Um, nobody is perfect on the platform, so whenever things happen like for example what happened to Augustine today is a normal thing we have one family here in fact that's a better way of demonstrating who we are on this platform you know for those people watching us from afar to know that we're not biased here on this platform so yes we are one family we all are fighting for how Nigeria can be better in our time so I want to use this opportunity to appreciate every one of you that called into the show today. Thank you very much, everybody. I appreciate you all. Those of you that joined the panel, those of you that are still here with us right now, Mr. Jonathan, Augustiem, uh, my brother Black Panther, uh, Mr. Ike, and uh, Oga to Nigeria. God bless you now. Those of you that already left, uh, Madarita, Mr. Ike, uh, Mr. ACBD, and uh, many others that came in, God bless you now as well. 
on the comment section i would like to quickly go to the people that supported the channel today i started with the first person which is uh uh kinsley ogeria here thank you pepe down with love thank you very much jaja josh blue shell grant uh, martin benjamin thank you very much i appreciate you, all my people peggy Modi, tune and god bless you now then martin benjamin you did it three times today and god bless you my pocket never run dry and every one of you that supported alongside we talk me oh now god bless you now and this woman that sent me twenty thousand naira in a nigeria account I want to appreciate you again. Thank you very much. May your pocket never run dry. And those of you on the comment section, start with Mother of All Mommy Diaspora. Thank you very much, Mommy. I appreciate you always for all you do. Thank you very much, my wonderful people right there. Maka E, thank you very much. Maka E is the head of uh, Twitter site for that side. Thank you very much, Maka E. You'll be so, so, so consistent. I want to say I'm grateful. I'm not taking none for granted. Thank you, Oga Chris. I can see right there. Thank you, uh, um, Ushe, Shoku Ushe right there, Friday Femi, Michael Ganemaro, Ray Abwa, Tony Ola, and uh, Mother Rita, then uh, Mother Iris Finest, Martin, uh, Mother Martina Obasui, thank you very much, uh, Mr. A A Abo Azi, thank you very much, I appreciate you all. And God will bless all my people who are again there, uh, that are just coming in now, uh, Okay, bless I don't make sure all of our name already. I can't scroll down. Uh Anthony Olag and see you. Lighthouse. Thank you, Lighthouse. Thanks for the prayer Ella, earlier on. I appreciate you and alongside with every one of you that prayed for me. God bless you all. I'm very, very grateful. Uh thank you very much, Okena, and many others right there we've come to the end of the broadcast join us again tomorrow by 6 p.m nigerian time and for those of you that's going to play back the video later on please do your part to press on the like button help us to share as well for those of you that are still listening to us right now please do your part before you leave copy the link take it to other platform where you belong and also press on that like button if you have not yet done so for those of you that's coming across this channel for the first time we get subscribers every day we want to let you know every day we say it here uh, Niger Watch stands for good governance. We are fighting for the betterment of our country, how we can have a better country, how we can be proud of our country, Nigeria. As you are, as you and I know that the way our government has been governing us since Nigeria was created, we are not pleased with it at all. So we are demonstrating our constitutional right to call them out to do what is right for us. Now, yeah, now we'll draw the bottom, my people. Uh, it's been a long day five hours today uh for the past couple of days six hours including saturday or sunday it's not easy doing this every day it's just your encouragement your continued encouragement prayer and other uh other other stuff that you know you do to encourage us here that's why we keep the consistencies rolling now yeah we'll join the country now god god bless you now my people take care and i'll see you guys tomorrow bye for now i know they do competition with anybody if I offend you, forgive me. Show me love. Go to Biza Biza. Come on, Bala Walo. I don't get to competition with anybody. If I offend you, forgive me. Show me love. I go show you love. Come on, Bala Walo. I know they do competition with anybody.
know they do competition with anybody. If I offend you, forgive me. Oh, to party some of us are gonna be yo. Effect Joku. I like a